All right. EconomicMakeSure.com, B60 CEO. All right, economicbasic.com, 360 CEOs. And three, two, one. Let's see where we at here. Let's see. Economicbasic.com, 360 CEOs. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? EconomicMessy.com, EconomicMessy.com, 360 CEOs, keep calm, it says. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Let's see if we can get this going. Uh, Wonder how we can make water better. Yeah. And let's see if it is going. And it is going up there. All 
right. Technical, man. We got 1,500 cameras here. Millen? <laughs> oh, camera's not on yet. Let's see. EconomicMentor.com. 360 CEO turning the cameras on. Here, 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 here. All right, action, 360 CEOs, economicmixer.com, 360 CEO. What you want to learn today is first thing before you learn anything, I want you to go and get a pencil and a paper. I want you to get a pencil and a piece of paper because too many times when we finish up, people write on the uh, comments and everything, Mr. Whitehead, people say, Mr. Whitehead, what did you say? I was on the Zoom and I wanted to ask you this, I wanted to ask you that. So you cannot remember a lot of this stuff. You cannot remember a lot of this stuff because uh, a lot of times people say, Mr. White, you said the same thing last time. No, what I'm saying is, is I want to say a lot of things for people who have not been here before, but I'm always going to throw some extra in there because I don't want everybody to say, I learned this before and we go to the next level and then some new people come in and say, I have no idea what he's talking about because they didn't get the basic stuff. So I want you to get a piece, a pencil, a piece of paper. Let's count to about five, then uh, let's get it on. Get a pencil, a piece of paper. This is not gonna be your regular webinar. We're not gonna sit here talking about buy this, buy that. Hello, Drew, Amarcon, <laughs> my man. All right, let's see who we have here. We have Kevin. We have DJ Rising, right on. Okay, we have the Prince of, of Pumper, the Prince of Pumper, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Let's see what we have over here. Uh, I love you too. Love you too. Who we have over here? Let's see. Peace. Peace guest. I hope everybody makes it out to that next uh to that next seminar. We get ready to plan it. We plan it. We get ready to pop up. Peace, peace, peace. I want everybody to have a pencil and a paper. Get a pencil and a paper. Because what we want to say is is how you can get the secrets of how to get two hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, even a million dollars. I know some people can't believe it, but it's true. <laughs> it's the bank of lending institution. I want somebody to say this to, to somebody else next to them. Is the bank a lending institution? And I want them to say, yes, it is a lending institution, not a hold your money institution. How do you think the rich get their money? All right, I'm getting ready to wrap up. You know, when I start getting like this, I'm getting ready to wrap up. You got the pencils in your paper? All right, so the first thing you want to do is, is what you're going to learn today is the secrets of how to get uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, $500,000. That's pennies. And like I said, there's levels to this thing. So we're going to go in, we're going to learn what this thing is, we're going to learn how the rich folks do it, and we're going to duplicate it. We're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're going in. We're going in, right? So put your goggles on, put your sunglasses on, and whatever it takes for you to see this, I want you to see it. <laughs> right? Uh, so we're going to go in, we're going to use this thing, and we're going to go in and ask the bank, give me some money. Not me some money. Give Willie some money, Willie Corporation some money. So what we're talking about here today is not how you work, 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 right? But the secret, that's why we call ourselves 360 CEOs, 360 CEOs, because we're not going in talking about uh, 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 go getting some little credit card money, okay? That's played out. We're not talking about going in. Well, that's not played out because getting some credit card money is still good, right? So, but we want to go to the next, the next level. Like Sly says, Sly Stone. Some of y'all might not remember Sly Stone. He said, I want to take you higher. <laughs> All right. So you want to go in, get that next, that, that, uh, thank you, thank you. Sly and the Family Stone, baby. So we want to go in and take it higher. We want to be smarter than everybody on the internet if we can. And if they know more than us, then we need to have them come on so they can teach us because everybody don't know everything. All right, so we want to make sure that we go in and get that and uh, learn how to get that money from the bank, get that first level. A lot of people on the internet, they teach you, go in, get your credit card, 
or going to get your credit or going to get your court, but nobody I can find on there is teaching from ground level all the way up. That's what we're trying to do right here, right? Pass the word, because <laughs> we're trying to show you from, from game, from beginning, all the way to damn top, right? If there's a, a level below this, please tell me, all right? So we want to take you going and get that starter capital. You're like, I don't have no money to invest. I ain't got no money for nothing, right? Well, guess what? You got you, and if you got a social, you got an ID, you got money. You got money. That's how this game works. So go in, start out, get some seed money, get some springboards for capital by getting yourself your company. So you're not working hard, the company working hard, right? And then go get some money. Once you get that money, now we're going to go to the next level. Then we're going to go in and go get some, what we're going to get? We're going to get some, some private equity money. You probably never heard of that before, right? Private equity. All right? So a lot of people say, hey, wait a minute, I saw this before. He's not, he, he, he's not talking about the same thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right? Now, read my list. Private equity equity so that means you're not publicly traded you are private with a company and you're going to ask investors for money you know and you can do that you can do that how you think the rich get rich they go in and use other people's money and say thank you very much yeah i'll pay you back you think the bank is the only person that gives you money you think the bank has a you know some people they say they heard the word funding and they think that's the only way you get funding is through a bank no that's the next level where after the bank, now you're going to go in and get say private equity. I want you to look that up. We're going to another level up on this. Private equity. Capite. <laughs> All right. Now, once we go in and get that private equity, you think, oh, that's the end of it. No, it's not, because this is a billion dollar world. How are you going to get that billion dollars? Who's teaching you on the internet how to get from zero? All the way to a publicly traded company and don't act like you can't do it because you can learn every song that's on that internet on that radio you can do it who gonna teach you how to do it on the internet nobody right so let me tell you about some of the things we want you to know all right I want you to write this down if you got a pencil and paper don't take this stuff wisely because I'm waste I'm taking my time not to waste my time so I want you to go in and make sure you write this stuff down first thing we want to do is we want to get our credit together. Next thing, we want to, next thing, we want to go to get a corporation so we'll have a business, a real business, right? Not doing business as ourselves. After we get that company, then we're going to get some money, right? We're going to get some moolah, right? After you get that money, then you're going to get that money from the bank, from the credit unions, and this and that. After you get that, now we're going to say, now nah, I got you. I'm getting ready to go for broke. Right, I'm getting no, I'm getting ready to go for rich. The hell with broke. <laughs> right, I'm getting ready now that I got that seed money. Now I'm going to protect your money. Nobody who's teaching you how to protect your money, right? Right, so guess what? You got to protect your money. So we're going to go in after you get that money. We're going to show you the seven structure. So if you get it now, you're going to protect it. After you protect it, then you're going to super protect it. That's a super bail. After you protect it, then you're going to go in and say, I'm ready for the next level. You're going to go to that golden ladder. Have you ever heard of a golden ladder? I want you to hear some things that you probably never heard before. Right? I didn't say a golden parachute. A golden parachute is usually when somebody gets old and then they get up out their business. Well, another golden parachute, my perspective is, is to be able to get the hell out of that airplane if you see it crashing. Right? Okay, so we want to get the money, protect the money. Then what we want to do, then we want to make sure that we pay damn taxes. Don't be talking about them saving money on taxes. Do you know the taxes is there that you pay uncle, right? Uncle gives you a tax receipt that says you paid a thousand. Now you can go to the bank and borrow five times that amount because you've been a good guy. So don't think you're avoiding taxes and it's good for you. I got a cash business. Stop with that old farmer talk. We talk about making leverage in money. So if you pay, when you pay your taxes, 
Now you go in and guess what you do? You say, I got a tax receipt from the government, two years of tax statements, right? You go plus some, 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 you already borrowed the money, so you got money going through the bank. Guess what? <laughs> Old farmer talk, you know what I'm saying? So now you have borrowed money, you got money flowing through the bank because you borrowed it from the bank. Now you got bank statements and you got two years of tax returns and you got decent credit. Woo-wee. And then you got what you call a stated financial. Write this down. Stated financial. You want that big money? Let's start writing this stuff down, all right? Let's start writing it down. All right? We don't not looking at a credit score. All right? Young W. Money one. We're not looking at a credit score. We're looking at a FICO score. All right? That's how we're going to get that money. Explain that in a minute. But I want you to understand the steps and the levels. Right? And if you're turning it off, those that are turning it off don't want no money. They want some kind of quick, get rich, quick scene, scene, but don't want to know how to get the money fast because they don't want to learn how to do this stuff. If I said to you, go down the street, make a right turn, and go get some money, everybody be on here. I want everybody would be on here knocking at the door, right? But if I say, oh, there's a couple of steps that you have to do to go get the money, everybody like, I, 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 uh, uh, I'd rather go work for mine. <laughs> All right, so let's do the work. Nobody, don't, don't complain. Ain't nobody teaching us. Now they're trying to teach you, so ain't no excuse. Ain't no, ain't no excuse, right? <laughs> All right, so start out. Get your credit tight. That's easy to do. Next thing, get your corporation. Simple. Build your corporation the way the bank wants. We're going to tell you how to do that, right? Now you're going to get the money. Can put y'all together. to get the money. Now you're going to build it the right way so if somebody sue you or come after you, now you're going to put that in a holding court and then a trust. The holding court for the trust protects your money. Now you're going to make sure uncle get his tax sheet, pay a, a little tax money, because once you get that money, you got to figure out what am I going to do with the money? Everybody wants to have a bunch of money, but you got to figure out what you're going to do with this money once the bank or the investor gives it to you. You got to figure out what you're going to do with it. Because as soon as you get that money, you got to make it work. You got to make that money go like, ah, stop it, stop it. Get to work. <laughs> All the forefathers, they whipping, you whipping, they, you whipping them now. Get to work. Yeah, you get to <laughs> They gonna come back from the past. Ah! <laughs> All right. So we go. I show you. <laughs> All right. So we are gonna go in. We are gonna make sure that money is put to work. You gotta think what you're gonna do. A lot of people are talking about credit card stacking, getting money from the bank. Is anybody telling you what to do with the daggone money? We're talking about you should. I think you should try real estate. You got Airbnb. You got uh. You know, hey, guess what? You ever been to a bankruptcy court? Anybody ever been to a bankruptcy court? If anybody's been to a bankruptcy court, I want you to put up a five right now. A business bankruptcy court. A business five bankruptcy court. Hardly nobody's been to a bigger. We got one, two. Two people out of a hundred, two people out of another hundred, or was it 50 up here and rising uh, 75 here? What? Three people? Three people? See what I'm saying? Who's teaching you? Do you know that you can go to a bankruptcy court, sit in the back, and those people file in Chapter 11? That's bankruptcy, business bankruptcy. That means I, can, I cannot deal with it. I need help because I'm not making the money that I should. So now they got to get rid of all them TVs, all them Sonys, all that for pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar, right? So now you walk in there, the man, the judge say, well, you want to reorganize that. You got to get rid of some of this stuff to pay these debtors back. You got to get rid of this stuff. I say, well, okay. So now you going to say, ooh, they got TVs. In the box, they got to get rid of them. Follow the man outside. How you know I was 
I was wondering, you know, I was interested in buying some of your TVs. You know, what are you selling for? Well, it's ten thousand dollars, seventy-five inch Sony in the box. Uh, they're going for ten thousand. Well, how much you would sell it to, to me for? You know, I'm not trying to watch television. I want to buy a bunch of them because I just got funded from the bank. I got some money. He says, well, it's going to cost, you know, uh, I'll sell these for 10. Uh, no, uh, wait a minute. The, the judge just said you had to get rid of them. <laughs> right, right, right. So I'll give you $1,000. I'll take 20 of them at $1,000 right, right now. He's going to say, no, nah, no, nah, I can't. That's ridiculous. You know, okay, well, give me an offer. I'll take five. I'll give you two. No, nah, well. I'll take three. Okay, three. You get three thousand dollars for one TV that's worth ten grand, and you sell that sucker for nine on the internet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You just made six thousand dollars off one TV, and you bought twenty of them. Bankruptcy court, chapter eleven. Don't say I never told you nothing. <laughs> And that's legal. Ain't nobody ain't talking no illegal stuff. We don't play that illegal. You can make the same way you make money illegally, you can make money legally. Because we's capitalists, right? I ain't no truck driver. I drive trucks. I got trucks. Somebody might say, I drive trucks. I got trucks. But when they ask you, what do you do? I'm a capitalist. I, I'm a businessman. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a capitalist. Just like the president lives on Capitol Hill. You ever notice Capitol Hill? <laughs> the president just said, look, I'm a capitalist in his speech the other day, right? Well, why ain't you? You're a capitalist, and you will capitalize on anything that makes capital, that brings in capital, that is in a capitalist society that brings in capital, right? I'm a capitalist. I happen to have trucks, but if you got a good deal for me, I'll capitalize on that. I'm a capitalist. Businessman, businesswoman. I happen to do this. I do hair. I do this, whatever. That's some of the things I do. I'm a capitalist. I capitalize on things. I capitalize on other people's losses. I capitalize on other people's losses. I capitalize on other people's what? Losses. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. I capitalize on losses. We don't pay retail for nothing. We're capitalists. We take advantage of other people's losses. Right? Guess what? I didn't create the foreclosure, but now that you're in foreclosure, I'm a capitalist. I'll capitalize on it. I'll help you out so you don't go into foreclosure, but you're going to sell me that property, Mr. Bank, for cheap. And then I'm going to buy it and I'm going to sell it for high. I'm going to go to, uh, have you ever heard of an estate sale? Have you ever heard of probate? When somebody passes away, those kids don't care nothing about that house and car. They're selling that job for cheap. We got to learn how to do something with this money, right? All right. So that's how I'm going to start out today. I want everybody to understand the money is highly possible. You can get tons of it, but we have to know what we're going to do with it when we get the money. Don't go in getting the money and now spending the money. You're going to get messed up. It's gonna, you're going to get right, knocked right out the game. Right out the game. You got to know what you're going to do with the money. Right? So, bankruptcy court. We got Turo. We got Airbnb. We got real estate. 75% of all people who become wealthy and rich in this country become wealthy through real estate every year. Cayenne West is crazy. Why is he crazy? He's buying thousands of acres of real estate on all over this country. Land. Thousands of acres. What's up? This dude, he say some stuff out of his mouth, but I mean, <laughs> he's buying all the land. He's, he's like, he's like, I'm gonna buy the United States. I'm gonna buy it all. <laughs> so something's going on up here, right? All right. So we got to figure out what we're gonna do with the money. All right. That's the first thing before you even talk about getting some money. Now you got some ideas, right? You got your your ideas are flowing, right? Now, I want you to start as this thing goes on. I want you tonight to think about if I had 100, 200, 300, 500, 500,000, what would I do with it? Write those things down. Write those things down. Now, 
I was a VC, a venture capitalist for a while, right? Like those guys on Shark Tank, right? Right. So um, guess what? There's rules to this thing. There's rules to this thing. Number one rule. There's a waterpreneur. There's an entrepreneur. And then there's a superpreneur. Myron Golden, that's a bad dude, right? <laughs> I, I get credit with credit due. Waterpreneur, entrepreneur, superpreneur. What is that? That means you going in and you say, I sell a hot dog for a dollar. And how many hot dogs do I sell? Ten. So that means you make ten dollars a day. Oh, you better go get a job, homie. This is go, look, this penorship stuff ain't for you. <laughs> All right, there's rules to this. Rule number one: that's a water penor. Myron Gold, that's a bad. He's a cold dude, right? Myron Gold's a bad dude, <laughs> right? So, so if you just listen to what we're trying to say, okay. So now. Uh, I sell 10 hot dogs a day at 99 cents. That's $10 in a day. It's time to go to get a job, right? So that's a wannapreneur. That's a wannabe. That ain't an entrepreneur. So the next thing is, what is a, what is a entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is when you sell a high ticket but low volume. So something costs $100,000. You're making a hundred thousand, but you're only selling one in, in, in you know a week. Well, that's good because that's high ticket, low volume. That's an entrepreneur. Got it? Now you can flip that and you can say not high ticket but low ticket item. Boop and and high volume. Same thing. Same thing. But it's just flipped. So that's like Walmart. Walmart sells low ticket items, inexpensive stuff, but a lot of it. So that's what you call a entrepreneur. High ticket, low volume, or low ticket, right? Cheap stuff, and a lot of it. High volume, same thing, woo, woo. got it? So we wanna make sure we understand that we wanna be not entrepreneurs, we wanna be entrepreneurs at a minimum. Now, what is a superpreneur? A superpreneur is when you go in and you say, I got high volume because I make a I make $100,000 off like a real estate deal. You know, you can make $100,000, $300,000, $150,000, dollars $300,000 off selling one piece of real estate, flipping it. In two months, 40 days, that's what it should be. So that's high ticket, but you sell one in a month, and ain't bad, $100,000 a month, that's $1.2 million a year. High ticket, low volume. But we, but we want to be superpreneurs. So what if you sold a high ticket, right, for $100,000 real estate or whatever, and you also sell a lot of it? So that means you sell one, you, you sold a house that's for a million dollars in a month, but you also sold 10 of those houses. So you made 10, you made $1 million in a month because you did high volume and high ticket. That's a damn superpreneur. All right, there's rules to this thing. Who's teaching you this thing on the internet? Nobody. It ain't hard to be a, a businessman, businesswoman, a uh, 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 capitalist, but you first got to, somebody got to teach you. Okay? All right, then. So if anybody did not understand that, I want you to put up, put up a seven. If you did not understand that, put up a seven. Audience participation now. I mean, you know, I'm not talking by myself, all right? If you understand it, put up a seven. Wannapreneur, entrepreneur, superpreneur. Put up a seven if you don't understand it. If you don't understand it. 
If you don't understand it, put up a seven. You don't understand it. Okay. All right. All right. You just came in. Okay. We're gonna go over this again. Right. This ain't gonna be your regular webinar. This is you have to get this stuff down so you know how to operate once you get the money. This is why rich folks and wealthy people don't go down. They take a lateral or they go up because they know. They 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 understand how to operate. Got it? The businessmen and business women. All right. So so those that understand this, I want you to put up a nine. All right. If you understand it, put up a nine, a nine. If you understand it, everybody out there, if you understand it, put up a nine. All right. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You understand entrepreneur, entrepreneur, superpreneur. If you understand it, put up a nine. Cool. All right. Audience participation. That's what I'm talking about. I know you're listening. All right, cool. Cool. Let me see over here. How many people understand over here? Okay. Put up a nine if you understand why I'm saying. You want me to say it in ebonics? I say it in ebonics. You know what I mean? Say <laughs> All right. Ebonics? All right. <laughs> Somebody say, she's saying it in ebonics. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, say. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go over this again because nobody here is left out, right? Everybody must understand it. All right. What do you think about the oil business? Oil business is wonderful. O uh, oil business bringing oil, oil cargo from Russia. Russian oil, uh, amongst other places, is off the chain. Uh, very, very good prices on oil, right? But I like clean energy. It's very nice, too. That's what's coming. All right. So, uh, well, as a matter of fact, that's here. Electric cars, windmills, uh, solar, uh, that's it. It's coming. Okay, it's here. So, people, those that don't understand, I want you to listen to this again. You have, in business, we are what they call, we are what they call capitalists. We live in a, we don't live in Africa where they go in and say, hey, I got a, a, a $5,000, $100,000, I want that house, here's the cash. They do cash over there. We don't do cash here. Why would you give somebody a hundred thousand when you can make money off of it and pay and pay, uh, you know, two thousand, three thousand a month for your mortgage and then use the other ninety-seven thousand to go make some money? Why would you do that, right? Because we're capitalists. We don't do that. So we go in. We take. We want to go in and get some money from the bank or from private equity or go public after we got it going on. So now. Once we get the money, we have to know what to do with the money. So that's why I'm saying to you, there are things to go to, to go do something with that money, like like uh, probate. Probate means when somebody passes away and they got a will, they got to go to the judge. The judge says, "Hey, are you competent to get this money?" So you got to go to the judge to see if you know. The judge says, "Okay." I need you to go to a psychiatrist, make sure you're okay. Next thing you got to say, oh, I need you to go to a, a, a tax guy to make to see what you have or that person had that's leaving that money to you, what they have, how much they owe, and what's left over is yours. And I need a lawyer and a tax person to assign to you. And they have two years to get the job done. So you think they're going to get done fast? So they're going to go in and say, well, we're working on it. And after a while, what's going to happen is, is that house that your people left you, the cars that they left you, and the money, you got to pay the lawyers and all the other people. So now you have to do what they call an estate sale. And the, and the kids are going to sell that stuff for pennies just to get, get, get that stuff, you know, get rid of those people they got to pay. So you go to the estate sale and say, oh, you got a house for sale, what you want for it? Well, it's worth five hundred thousand. Well, you know, I give you three fifty. It's got some, you know, it's got this problem, it's got this problem, it's got this problem. Oh man, okay, three hundred fifty thousand. Okay, 
So now you got a house for three fifty. All you got to do is put like twenty, thirty thousand dollars to fix it, and now it's worth five hundred thousand. Capitalists, we take advantage of other people's stuff. Now, let's say, for instance, you go to a bankruptcy court. Has anybody gone to bankruptcy court? I'm talking business bankruptcy court, chapter eleven. That means they got to get rid of the stuff because they're not doing well. And they got to sell that stuff for pennies and nickels on the dollar sometimes. So you go up in there and sit in the back of the bankruptcy court. That's your right to go in and sit in there and watch all the people selling their stuff. Cars, car dealerships, uh, uh, television. And walk, walk that person outside and say, listen, I understand that you got to get rid of these TVs. So uh, how much is that Sony? I want to buy 20 of them. From your store, judge say you got to get rid of them. Well, uh, it's ten thousand. How much you selling for? Ten thousand. I'll give you two thousand. Uh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay, well, what you offer me? Five thousand. I'll give you three. Okay, I'll take three. That means you got a ten thousand dollar TV, right? For three thousand, because he's got to get rid of it, and now it's in the box. So you put it on the internet, Craigslist. For ten thousand, nine thousand, it's worth ten. Put it for nine. Sell it quick. In two days, it's gone. How much you make? Three. Got it for three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You just made six thousand dollars, and you bought twenty of them because you just got money from the bank, right? So now you're making that money work. So you do that. Six times ten is sixty, and another sixty is one hundred twenty thousand dollars in two days. Don't tell me you can't learn this. Don't tell me you can't go on and, and but who's going to teach you this on the internet for free? Nobody. That's a shame. Nobody. <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure we know what to do with that money. Now, once we go in, we want to make sure that we, when we make decisions on what we're going to do with that money, we have to understand the rules. So we're going to go over the rules again for, for those people who put up a seven that said, I don't understand what you just said, Mr. Whitehead. All right, check this out. Nobody. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So we want to make sure we're going to go in and we're going to, we're going to understand entrepreneur, entrepreneur, and superpreneur. Let's go over this again. Wannapreneur, that's the wannabe. Entrepreneur and superpreneur. Myron Golden is a bad man, all right? Myron Golden, right? Wannapreneur is when, let's say you got it, you, you decide, I'm going to sell hot dogs with my money. Okay, so you're going to open a hot dog truck. Well, how much is the hot dog? 99 cents. Okay, well, how much, how many of you are still going to sell? I'm going to sell 10 a day. So that means you're making $10 a day off a 99 cent hot dog, right? You might as well go get a job. Don't even waste your time or your money, right? <laughs> right? Don't do it. That's what they call a waterpreneur. That's a wannabe. That's not an entrepreneur. That's a waterpreneur. A worker bee, right? John Green, John Green worker bee. Exactly. So check this out. What is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur. Myron Gold is a bad man. <laughs> right? He said, so uh, an entrepreneur is that you sell a high ticket item, like a piece of real estate, and make 100 grand, but you sell not that many of them. So you sell one a month. Well, that ain't bad, $100,000, right? A month. That's $1.2 million in a year. That's not bad. That's an entrepreneur, uh, a high ticket and a low volume. You ain't selling that many. It's one ticket price for 100 grand that you sold, but you ain't selling that many. You're not selling that many. Now, also, you can flip it like this. Whoop! You can go low ticket, which, which you're, not selling, you're not selling a high ticket item but you're selling a lot of it. Like Walmart, they sell a lot of it, but it's a low ticket. It's inexpensive. I hate to say cheap, 
It's inexpensive, right? So you can go like this, flip it back and forth. High ticket, low volume, low volume, high ticket. Right? So that is a that is a that is a entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Right? What's the last thing? A superpreneur is what we want to be. We want to be an entrepreneur or a superpreneur. It's up to you, right? How much do you want to make? If you have the knowledge, you dictate how much you want to make. Now, if you have a high ticket where you made a million dollars, then guess what? And you sell a lot of those. So one home, you made a million dollars, but you sold 10 of those. No, no let's just say 100,000. Let's make it a nice little, little number. 100,000 in one month. And, but you are selling high tickets and you sell a lot of them. Well, guess what? That's a million dollars a month if you sold 10. So high ticket, high volume. What is that? That is a superpreneur. A superpreneur. Now, this is how you decide what type of business you're going to go into. If you, if you look at this chart and you say, hey, man, I got a good idea. Let's sell chicken feet. That's not a good idea. Well, how much how, how much will I sell the chicken foot for? Uh, a dollar, dollar, a dollar, a dollar foot, a dollar chicken foot. <laughs> I remember my grandmother used to eat chicken feet. I right? say, what? what? What is that? We go. <laughs> what is it? She just chase me around. Ah, come here, come here, come here. Ah! <laughs> right? You gonna sell the chicken foot? Okay, fine. Because you can sell a pet rock if with the right marketing, but we're not trying to work harder. We're trying to understand the rules of this deal. So, how much do you sell a chicken foot for? Okay, one dollar. How many are we gonna sell? We probably sell ten a day, or we might sell a hundred a day. A hundred is a hundred dollars a day. What you gonna do with a hundred dollars a day? I wouldn't care if you sold two hundred. That's two hundred dollars a day. What you gonna do with that? You gotta sell two hundred chicken feet. Rah! Rah! <laughs> you gonna you gonna look like a chicken with the end of the day. You gonna, rah! you gonna go home, babe. How much money we made? You gonna be like, because <laughs> you gonna be shame. <laughs> you gonna what you say? You gonna say, what you say? <laughs> What did you say? I didn't. I said two hundred. <laughs> I'm some people coming on there saying, "Wait, man, Leroy, why you invite me to this thing? This dude is crazy, man. <laughs> you can't teach me crazy." Okay, but you get you get my point, right? <laughs> How about you, made, baby? Two hundred. <laughs> You shame. You ought to be shame. <laughs> so if you use this, you know I ain't selling no chicken feet because it ain't, ain't enough money. I don't want to be a wannapreneur. I can at least be a superpreneur uh, or an entrepreneur, right? Okay, so if somebody says to you, okay, man, let's go in the business, man, and sell a computer. How much a computer going to go for? How much you going to make? Uh, $500 a day. Okay, that's an entrepreneur. And we could sell how many? Uh, ten. That means we make five thousand a day. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> All right. So, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, superpreneur. Everybody did that. I took the long way around. If you got that, I want you to put up a a four. Put up a four if you got that. I want you. I want audience participation. Okay. I want to know that you're getting this stuff. Four. Put up a four. If you, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can to explain it. All right, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> all right, fours, 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 all across the board. Fours all across the board. Good, good. Now attribute that to Myron Golden. Give credit to sure credit is due. All right. All right. All right. Fours, fours, fours everywhere. Let me look over here and see what we got. Uh, okay, put up a four if you got this. Four, please. 
four, 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 four. Right. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> All right, cool. Excellent. Excellent. So once we get the money, we got to know how to work this show. We have to be entrepreneurs or superpreneurs. Forget about that, waterpreneurs. Now look at some people's business because now you are becoming, what are you becoming? You are becoming a capitalist, a businessman, a businesswoman, right? So now look at other people's business and see how many entrepreneurs are out there. Now you will understand why they're not making it, but they will not give it up. <laughs> Don't fall in love with the business because the business does not love you. Next rule. The business is always going to be set up so you can sell it. Somebody's going to give you a lot of money for that business one day. And maybe you don't ever want to sell it, but make sure that you keep it tight so it can be sold in case your children want to take it over. Got it? Okay. Let's go back here. Okay. Value-based business. I love that. John Green, my man. All right. Capitalist. That's what I'm talking about. Do you have another example to explain? Superpreneur. Superpreneur. You're selling a you're selling a diamond. One diamond could cost a million dollars. That's a superpreneur. You only got to sell one a month. One matter of fact, you only got to sell one a year. <laughs> right? We have a jewelry store. Right? You sell one diamond. If it's if it's flawless, maybe it's a VB you know VBS uh, one. Or maybe it's flawless. You know, uh, five carats. Shit. <laughs> Woo. Excuse me. <laughs> Might be children out there. Woo. Wee. So you got one diamond, but you only sold one in a month. It's worth for five hundred million dollars a year. Uh, a million dollars. You only need one of those a year. But let's say if you sold ten of those in a month, that's a superpreneur because you're selling high volume and high ticket. You sell a lot of them, and the ticket price is very high. Understand? I hope you got that. All right, somebody ask me, please give me another example. All right, so let's move on. Let's get it popping. I'm on a timer here. I want to make sure that we're going to go in. I want you to understand how to get it, how to put it together, how to get it, how to protect it, how to go in and make sure you got the tax thing together and make sure that you Protect it and do an entrepreneur, superpreneur, waterpreneur. We ain't doing that waterpreneur thing. And then after you do that, the world is not flat. After you get 100000 to 500000 you don't fall off the earth because you got $100,000, because you got a $500 a million. The world is round. It just keeps going. You keep going like the world and keep getting that money. Okay? Keep getting that money. All right. So we want to make sure after you get that, that level, all that they're teaching on the internet, they're not telling you after you get that million, now you can go in and go to private equity with this book of C Corp and go in and take these things inside of it called stock. Stock. It's on the book, it's $125 online. And it's got these things in it called stock. Boom, look at that book. Look at that beautiful book. $125 online. A friend of mine told me years ago, named Kyle Freeman, he said, man, this is like a license to print money. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about, but I know now. <laughs> 30 years later, right? So in here is something that's called A, 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 a piece of stock. They give this to you in the book. You take this, you give this to a transfer agent after you done got that 500000 All the people on the internet are like, oh, you straight now. You straight. You looking like, what? I'm straight. Man, I'm a businessman. I'm looking at $500 billion. I ain't looking at no $500,000. <laughs> I ain't looking at no $5 million. It's a billion-dollar world. Come on now. 
stop playing. Stop it. Stop. Will you stop? They're like, ain't nobody behind him. <laughs> it's like, you're crazy. This business, this money that drove me. <laughs> All right. So look, you go in with this thing. It's called a piece of stock, right? Like cattle. You know how people have cattle and chickens? They call that stock. Well, this is stock. But it ain't living style. It's like a piece of paper that you could use to get money. So you go in, you take this with a private placement memorandum. Write that down. Private placement memorandum. PPM. Private placement memorandum. Can somebody put that up on the board here? Private placement memorandum. PPM. Can somebody put that up there? PPM, private placement memorandum. We're going to the next level, right? Those that don't want to handle it, ain't going to handle it. Y'all, okay, see ya. But we're trying to make some money up in here. We're not trying to play no games, no little penny money, right? You want a yacht? Go get a yacht. You want a Cartier's? You want $100,000 watch? Go get it. We're not playing no games up in here today, all right? I'm tired of it. <laughs> no, I am. I'm tired of it. All right. Private placement memorandum. Stock certificate. Beautiful. John Green. All right. Let me see who else we got here. Let's see. Private placement memorandum. Can somebody put that up? There you go. Thank you. Brenda. Brenda Barney. Thank you, sister. It makes sense. This is how they're doing this. Keeping it from you. I want land and loquat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Private placement memorandum. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So now once you get that private placement memorandum, what you're going to do? You're going to get a pitch deck. A pitch deck. I want everybody up here to put up their pitch deck. Pitch deck. I'm going to pitch myself. Nobody's going to sit around and watch you, watch you, uh, or listen to you for two hours talking about your idea. Beautiful, beautiful. I want somebody to put up their pitch deck. Private place in the memorandum. The next one is pitch deck. Please, somebody put it up there. Do some participation. Somebody help me operate this thing. Help me. <laughs> help me. <laughs> Oh, help me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's actually people over there. You don't see them, right? Don't think I'm there talking about stuff. Right? <laughs> What's wrong with this dude? He got the, what they call that? Charette? <laughs> All right. Pitch deck. Beautiful. Pitch deck. Pitch two words. Pitch deck. Pitch deck. You got your private placement memorandum. And what is a pitch deck? A pitch deck is when you go in and you write your stuff down on paper or you have like a video or something explaining what your business does, you know, the name of your business and, uh, you know, the people on your business and just saying what my business does and you can invest in me. Pitch that. Nobody's going to sit there while you listen to them all day. A billionaire or a millionaire, you start, well, let me tell you a little bit about my business. People do this all the time. I'll be sitting there like, if you think I'm going to sit here and listen to you another hour about this thing. <laughs> no. Where's your pitch deck? Oh, so you don't know nothing about business, huh? You don't have a pitch deck? So we walking out here talking about, I got my business, my business plan. Okay, well, if you want to go get money for the small business, uh... <laughs> I'm going to the small business and get me a loan, run a small business, whatever. Okay, fine. Right? But then you say, oh, I, I got my summary. Okay, fine. Let's step it up, okay? Can we go in and make a pitch deck like the big boys and the big girls do it? Pitch deck. All right. So we got a, we have a, we have a, a, a private placement memorandum. That is a piece of paper that says this is who we are, this is what we do, and this is, and you can turn that over and say, sign here, 
because you can lose your money like anybody else. This is risky, but give me some money. That's what keeps you from going to jail by getting other people's money. Right? And get some money. You're going to the bank and asking for money, but some people think that that's the only level that we can do is go get some dang on credit cards and stack some credit cards and then go in and get a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars from the bank. Yippee! I don't mean to diminish that, you know, I'm just saying, I'm saying, but there's, a, there's levels to this thing and we got to learn it. So, okay. Go in the bank, ask for some money. After that, then go and go get yourself your private placement memorandum, your pitch deck, and what else? This thing. Stock. Because you're going to send that over to who? You're going to send that over to a, what they call a transfer agent. I want you to write that down. Somebody put that up there. Transfer agent. Who's going to transfer all this stuff to the person that wants the money for you? A transfer agent. It's called online. It's $120, $125. Look up the corporate book. Look how beautiful that looks. Look at that like that's that look. This is billion dollar book. Look at that. Right? Transfer agent. I want everybody to put up there. Can somebody let me go over here? Let me see if somebody's putting it up over here. Okay, transfer agent. Transfer agent. All right. All right. So write this stuff down, right? Make sure we get this down packed. We're going to another level. We could get that one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. We go into another level. All right. Oh, you thought I was gonna come in here and talk the same stuff, huh? I could talk <laughs> I was just planting a seed, getting you ready for that next next level. <laughs> Now we get ready to you get ready to get a headache, right? That's why I like for you to come to my to my seminars because next ones are going to be we going to a whole nother level. All right. So now, what do we have? Can somebody put up what I just said? I said what a private placement memorandum. What's next? Private placement memorandum. A uh. Uh, a pitch deck, right? A transfer agent and some and some what? Stock. And where do you get the stock certificate? $125 online. This ain't a lot of money. And you run around looking for Section 8 and run around looking for uh, a government cheese and look around for free health care. Please. <laughs> Now, ain't nothing wrong with that because some people just need a hand out. Not a hand out, but a hand up. Okay? Cheese sandwiches, right? <laughs> Done. Some people just need a hand up, and once they get on their feet and they got some knowledge, it's over. It's done. You say, I remember when that, when that boy was standing in the welfare line. Well, I ain't standing in the welfare line now. Now what? Oh, did you get invited to my party on my yacht? You got a yacht? Yeah. Oh, you didn't want me then. Why you want me now? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, yeah, you ain't want me. You ain't want me in high school. Now you want me now. <laughs> Cause I figured that out. I figured it out. <laughs> All right, so we got those down packed. Everybody got those down packed? Now, I want you to write down a, I want you to write down something that's called a Lehman's Agreement. Okay, put that up there. Lehman's Agreement. Lehman's Agreement. Put that up there. There you go. It says PPM Pitch Deck, Transfer Agent. And you forgot one. You forgot the you forgot the stock. You forgot the stock. PPM pitch deck transfer agent stock for one hundred twenty five dollars. You forgot to put that in there. All right. Now leave that up there, John Green. Lehman's agreement. L E H M A N S. 
L E H M A N S agreement. Lehman's agreement. You're going to walk away from me today talking about it. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to give it to go go hard, go big, or go home. Go big or go home. I think you should leave. No, I'm you. I think you should leave. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No. <laughs> no, I don't want any water. <laughs> Lehman's agreement. What are, gonna, <laughs> what are we going to do? That Lehman's agreement. I want everybody to look at this and have a piece of paper. What is a Lehman's agreement? A Lehman's agreement is when other people get this stuff that I just mentioned and you give that stuff to them. It's a company that does, they go out and get, they go out and pitch for you and they go get that money for you and you pay them a little bit for getting the money for you. At a big level, some people say, some people are hip to like, well, I go out here, I got, you know, I got some funding, they charge me 10%, you know, so I got that, I got a hundred grand, I got 500,000, you know. And you're looking at them like, that's all? <laughs> and they say, what you talking about, man, that's good money. It is good money, but um, that's all. <laughs> so we want that big money, right? We want that big money. So now we're going to go in and do what all those things that I just said, we're going to go in and use that, and we're going to go do what they call a Lehman's Agreement. Oh, Sherry Thomas, stop playing. Sherry done put the stuff up here. Here we go, Sherry. One, two, three, four, five. Sherry done explained it. You done jumped ahead of me, didn't you? <laughs> okay, Lima's agreement. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's say this again. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to write that down. These are the steps. There's two sides, and I want you to write down one, two, three, four, five. On the other side, I want you to write down five, four, three, two, one. Got it? That's a that's a basic Lehman's agreement. What does that mean? Percentage of John Green, man, you on it. Who is it? John, stop it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, Okari. Nambi Okari. Some of y'all on the ball. I'm going to have some of y'all keep trying. I'm going to have you come in here and teach this stuff. Keep this, keep it up. d Products, Inc. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Can y'all put that on the board, please? One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Can you please put that up there? Everybody, can you put that up there? So I know we are comprehending. You can learn this stuff. Don't tell me you can't learn this stuff. Talk about it. I, I mean, I ain't come here for all this, man. I can't learn this. You can learn every daggone record that come on the radio. So the record goes, oh, that's my cat right there. Turn that up. Make me sweat. Make me holler. You can learn. <laughs> you know every record come on the net. <laughs> so, the, so that little girl, come on. You're like, oh, <laughs> I love that little girl. <laughs> Look, I can't learn this. I'm making it simple. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Make me lose water. <laughs> you don't do something else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so put that up there, please. I want you to put it up. 
One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> that, yo, John, man, why you bring me on here, bro? This dude's crazy, man. This dude's a clown. This dude's crazy, man. <laughs> Look, I, all I do is sit in this chair like this <laughs> all day. <laughs> This, I can't wait to get on here on Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. Look. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. So now that we understand that, let me look over here and see we have it over here. <laughs> <You kidding? laughs> Laughter is healthy, brother. You, got, you just get so happy when you, get, when you make a lot of money in the morning, you just get so happy. <laughs> All right, so let me see if we got that over here. Let me see. All right, all right. Make me sweat, make me young, <laughs> make me rich, make me wiser. <laughs> Somebody said, make me rich, make me wiser. <laughs> I gotta stop. I can't. We got. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right. So now we got the one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Right. So what does that mean? We have an align and align. One Lehman's agreement. That means one. If you raise them, uh, uh, uh one million dollars, they get five percent. If you raise them. Two million dollars, they get four percent. If you raise them three million dollars, they get what? Three percent. If you raise them four million dollars, they get two percent. Anything over four million dollars is going to be uh, uh, one percent. There you go. There you go. Delon Products Inc. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Don't clump. Just put on the put it on the table. There you go. Don't clump it. Just put it, <laughs> just put it on the table. Freeze the baby. <laughs> Please go over what you what you provide. We're going to go over what we provide. Uh, right now, I want you to understand I'm giving you this for free. This is for free. All those videos that you see on the Internet are free. I'm not here just to sell you anything. I want you to be able to do this on your own. If there's something that you need from us, then you can contact us. But right now, let's stick to the, what we do. Nobody on the Internet is going to teach you this. Nobody. Because they don't give a damn. Or it's not they don't give a damn. Some people, like most people just don't know. Just don't know. And then when somebody do find out what they're going to say, they say, oh you, oh, you got a grant writer, girl? You got a, they, I've been had a grant writer. Well, what, well, what's your grant writer name? Let me get their number. Is that, well, well, girl, I don't know about that because she told me that, you know, um, I can't give out her number right now. You know, I can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're so busy with info. I was like, damn, it's enough money for everybody. Right? <laughs> I go, girl, she told me, I'll look into it, girl, but I can't right now. You know, I got to ask her or give her a number. Like this woman would not want your number so she can get money off you too. Right? <laughs> oh, my man, Shady. Let's go in. All right. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Anybody that understands that, put up a put up a six 
If you understand the Lehman's agreement, put up a six. Six, 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 six. Let me see some audience participation. I can just die. Look, I can go about my business. All right. I have, I've had enough fun. Right? Put up a six. If you think this is, if you if you understand it, put up a six. Put up a six. Let's see. This ain't no regular webinar. I bet you ain't think you were gonna come do that. <laughs> I bet you didn't see a, I bet you gonna see a crazy man today. Let's see. Put up a six. If you understand what I'm saying, put up a six. If you can understand this, perspective, no six. Put up a six if you understand the Lehman's agreement. You're going to walk out of here a lot richer and smarter because you're going to be smarter, you're going to be richer. So you're going to be a lot smarter than uh, somebody said, ooh, somebody said six, six, six. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're going to be walk out of here a lot smarter than when you came in here. You're going to come in here talking about that was a waste of time. Not up in here, right? <laughs> All right, beautiful, beautiful, excellent. Just finding you. You just found me. Oh man, let me see. Okay, so now I want you to understand the Lehman's agreement. Now that we understand the Lehman's agreement, now let's go into this real quick. I want you to understand the secrets of how to get one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, and uh, we're going to have question and answers. So remember, the money and the knowledge is in the question and answers because people ask questions that you never heard or, 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 or uh, they ask a lot of questions and that's a whole lot of good stuff that's free. That's a whole lot of good free stuff right there. So uh, next slide, please. We're going to get to the question and answers. This is free. This is economicministry.com, 360 CEOs. I'm Derek Whitehead. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not uh, 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 tax people. We're not any of those people. If you need any of those people, please consult those people or a, uh, an attorney. We are consultants, and we are here to give you this information, right, because we believe uh, that you are a friend. As long as we believe you're a friend, we can give you this information freely, and we will continue to give you this information freely, okay? All right. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay. Let's see over there. Okay, so a lot of people say, who the heck are you? Who's this guy on the internet? Who's the crazy guy, you know? And uh, uh, I want to start out by saying, uh, I'm the guy in the back. I'm the guy that a lot of people don't see. Uh, you could see me like, you know, maybe in a, you know, at some uh, high ticket, uh, 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 what would you, like the politician, you know, 20 plate meal, dinner, other. I'm the guy who's in the back, you know, like, that's, that's, <laughs> all right, all right, and uh, I don't laugh as much in those kind of things. I'm like this. <laughs> You're my friends. I'm gonna laugh at you. All right, I'm gonna laugh with you. So, um, you gonna laugh at me? I'm gonna laugh with you. <laughs> all right. So, some people say, "Who are you?" We're not gonna talk a whole bunch about me. We're not gonna go into. I'm this. I'm that. Like the people on the internet. Oh, look at my watch. Look at my cars. Look at my houses. You know, we're not going to go into that, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you about, so some people say, well, who the heck are you? So I'm going to tell you about five minutes who I am, then we're going to move on because I'm here to teach. I want you to teach your children. If you don't teach your children, you're wasting my time, you're wasting your time. I care about, I want them to learn more than you. <laughs> All right, so uh, when is the next seminar? Uh, look on economicministry.com, 360 CEOs, and look out for our next seminar. Uh, they are like growing enormous. <laughs> uh, uh, last time we were there, we weren't able to, uh, we didn't have enough seats actually. Uh, uh, it was sold out. You know, we went to Herman and it was sold out, you know, and, uh, but it, you know, it was great. We did a lot of teaching, but we want to do more teaching. I want to do more. We need more time. Herman, we need more time. <laughs> All right. So. Um, I'm not an internet guy, first of all. I'm not a guy who learned all this stuff on the internet. I'm not a guy who uh, went to all of everything on the internet that I went to the seminars and now I'm a guru. I'm not an internet guy. I was doing this stuff 25, 30 years ago when they had phone booths before the internet was popping. The internet wasn't, nobody wouldn't even go on the internet, right? They didn't have a Twitter, they didn't have a nothing, right? So um, 
You know, I remember when they used to dial, <laughs> telephone dialing, right? <laughs> Phone booths. <laughs> right? I'm old as dirt. <laughs> I just look like this, right? So, um, no, I'm not an internet guy. You know, I'm a guy who's 25 or 30 years from now. So I'm Derek White, the CEO of, of Alpha Incorporated. Um, 30 years in business, the high end banking. I managed under management 20.2 billion in the portfolio of market traded notes. Uh, that's a B with a billion, 22.3 with a B. Don't let that be like a big number to you because the people that I'm around, right? You should always be around people that can teach and inspire, inspire you, right? To be to the next level. In money, there is no limit. There's no limit, right? So 20.2 billion of people that I'm around, they're saying, Derek, you, you, go get some coffee for us. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, because I want to learn. All right, how'd y'all get a hundred billion? <laughs> so that's what I want you to understand. So I managed over $20.2 billion portfolio of uh, market traded notes, uh, non-performing notes in uh, next uh, next slide. Okay, so uh, some of the people that I've helped, uh, uh, I've, 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 uh, uh, Derek White, I've funded and helped politicians, congressmen, athletes, entrepreneurs, to scale their business to multi-million dollar businesses, right? So over there is a great Casino Mobley, lefty, played for uh, the Houston Rockets. He played he played with Shaq. He played with uh, uh, Kobe, all those guys. Fantastic basketball player, right? That's my main man, you know? Sometimes we go at each other like, all right, all right, all right. Well, but that's my main man, right? So um, he's played for the LA Clippers. Uh, you know, he's uh, really doing his thing. He's bad dude. And he's on our he's on our website saying thank you, Derek, for all you teach me. So we're not talking about some people, Linda from Colorado, help me get I helped Linda get some money. Who the hell is Linda? And I'm talking about real people, right? So that's my man there. We have over there Shante Moore, a beautiful woman, right? Had the privilege of being around her. Uh, over there is uh, 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 the woman in the red with the red hat and the red dress. That is Dr. Shirley Weber. She is and myself in the tuxedo. She is the Secretary of State of California. Over there is myself in the tuxedo with Kimberly Ellis. She ran for the president of the Democratic Party. Woo! Over there is a senator. Down there is myself and a congresswoman. Uh, over there in the middle, and a guy red tie, he was counsel for two presidents. Over there with myself in the corner is Tysha Brown and a congresswoman and myself. Um, con uh, Tysha Brown, look her up in San Diego. She helps people get elected, congressmen, senators, all that. All that, like she's another one behind the scenes, like you know, like, and so uh, she's also look up at San Diego, Tysha Brown. She's also a person on my website saying economicmentory.com. Look at testimonials, and you can see people saying, you know, thank you, Derek. She says, thank you, Derek. Derek helped me get this help. Derek helped me do this. Just because you're a congresswoman or a famous person like Latino does not mean that you understand what I'm teaching you. Does not mean you understand what I'm teaching, trying to teach you. All right. So down at the bottom is Mr. Uh, uh, Carnita, right? At that time, he's the president of the Mexican Union. Uh, uh, Marinate on that. All right. So down there is a, a president, a council for two presidents, Taisha Brown and myself. Over there to the right is a congressman. He has a congress uh, a pin on and he shakes my, shake my hand. I was at the Democratic Party and I spoke to these people about. Twice, twice about not jobs, but about, you know, uh, you know, about uh, co companies, get people some companies, teach them how to fish instead of working for somebody, you know. And uh, so this guy here, and I'm not a Democrat, I'm not a Republican. Uh, I am an independent. I know some people, uh, they're looking for a, a, just a hand up, not a hand out. Some people just need a hand up and then they can make it from there. They need some knowledge and a little hand up. And then there's some people who need tax breaks, like me, <laughs> and like you, going to be or are. And so um, this guy grabs a hold of your hand, man. You, you cannot get away. He's like, you know, I knew uh, he gets a drink in his hand, wine, and boom. Okay, right? He said, I knew John F. Kennedy, was a good family. John F. Kennedy, you know, I knew him, right? You know, I knew him. <laughs> good guy, a good guy, good representative. Over there to the uh, left is uh, two guys that said, do not mention our names, Derek. You know, it says, well, can I show you a picture? Oh, they said, well, sure. Okay, show a picture. So, I, so they flew down in a little Lear jet and uh, came to my office down on uh, 
on 7th and B in San Diego, 7th and B in the lovely uh, 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 towers down there, Symphony Towers. You have to be invited there. It's called the University Club. You have to be invited to have an office there. And I'm lucky enough to be invited. They've been around since like, I don't know, 1600s. I don't know, something like that, 1700s, 1800s. I don't know. But um, lovely, lovely place. It's 34th floor. We have the Court of Appeals over us. And um, uh, senators, congressmen all go there to make deals. It's a beautiful place. Sometimes I have my, um, sometimes some of my students come there, have come there to see me and say, hey, Mr. White, they said, Mr. White, we came to see you. You wasn't there. I said, do I live there? You got to let me know you're coming, right? <laughs> so you got to let me know you're coming. So they, uh, some of my students, they come see me sometime. And if there's somebody can't say, hey, how you doing? Come on, ain't nobody that big. Ain't nobody that big, right? So uh, they came down. I, I brought them to my house. You know, I went, took them up to my ranch. We did some shooting. Uh, took them out to dinner. We ate. We had a grand, great time, you know. In fact, just last week, another another couple of students of mine came down. Uh, we're going to put that on the Internet. Uh, they came down. We hung out. We, you know, we, we, uh, we ate. We had a good time. Came to my home. So uh, nobody's that big where they can't come. We're going to put that on the Internet, too. Uh, we had a good time. So down there is my buddy. Uh, and he needs no introduction. You probably know him as Pop. You've seen him with in uh, Friday movies and 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 uh, L and um, uh, what's his name, uh, Ice Cube and stuff like that. You know, uh, he has since passed away. One of the funniest, nicest guys, nicest guys you ever want to meet. Nicest guys you ever want to meet. He has since passed away, so God bless him. And um, good guy. That's enough about me. Let's get on to the next slide. All right. So people, who are you, Mr. Whitehead? All right. All right. Oh, that's John Witherspoon. That's right. That's right. Bang, 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 bang. Right. All right. Disclaimer. We are, uh, I'm Derek Whitehead. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. We are finders. We're not finders. We are uh, not tax people. We're not even, uh, uh, we're not even uh, bird dogs. You know what bird dog is? A bird dog is when somebody goes out and finds real estate, finders and stuff. We're none of that. Uh, we're not even, uh, uh, we don't do any of that stuff, right? So if you need any of those things, any of those people, please see those people. We're not here to motivate you. If you're looking for motivation, you're in the wrong spot. So I think that's Tony Robbins. He does a good job. That, right? All right. So uh, I, from what I hear, he does a good job. So uh, we're none of that. We are consultants, and we are here to give you this information freely, right? From our perspective, this is our perspective, all right? Les Brown, that's a, that's a good motivator right there. Les is a bad man. Les is a bad man, all right? So, uh, next slide. First thing we want to do is we want to talk about getting the money, credit card funding, get your seed money, foundation capital, and springboard funding. Next thing, the United States is a corporation. It is a corporation out of Delaware. Look it up. It's a business. So you need, that's why they call it Capitol Hill. Let's get it on. Let's think now. All right. So now, it is a person. It is a body. A corporation is a person. So here is a corporation. Boom. The corporation is a person. You're a person. It's an entity. It's the person. They call it a person too. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to understand this person. So it is a person. This is a good standing letter. Like the police go and say, hey, you're not, you're, you're, you, have, you have no warrants or nothing like that. You're in good standing. Well, this is a good standing letter for a corporation. Next thing is you have a birth certificate. It has a birth certificate. They call it articles of incorporation. This is the articles that says this is who we are, right? This is what we're doing. And this is what, and, and, and this is, uh, uh, we will abide by all the laws right, that are applicable in each state that we go in, whatever, whatever laws that's applicable, because we will do things legally, and we will do things uh, that make sense, because we are capitalists. Am I right? Right? Okay, somebody said he tripped into the bank uh, with $150 million in you. Okay, guess what? I never said that you're going to get 150 from the bank. We have to listen, right? We have to listen. I said you get one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars from the bank. After you get that, you do that in tranches. Once you do that in tranches, 
first, if you want to know, we're going to go in, you're going to go to credit unions. After you go to credit unions, then you're going to go into what they call the bank. And then when you hit the bank, then you're going to do what they call a foreign filing. And then you're going to go to community banks. After you hit the community bank, then you're going to leverage your money. Look up, look up bank leveraging, money leveraging, and you're going to insure your money. And after you insure your money, then you're going to build it by like, protect your money with your corporation. Now, after you do that, then you're going to go into another level that they ain't teaching you. So they now we're going to go in with this thing. I fully explained it. That's called a stock, right? Stock. And then you're going to go in with that stock. And you're going to go into private equity. That's the next level. That ain't nobody talking about. After you go and get that, then you can take your company public. Now you can talk about 150 billion, 150 million, 150 billion. How do you think? How do you think? Uh, 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 what's his name? Bezos of Amazon is worth 100 billion dollars. He's a publicly traded company, and that's very easy. All you need is to do a reverse merger. Take your company, put it in a publicly traded company that you bought called a shell, not a shelf, but shell. Put it in there and flip it. Now you call, now you're reverse merger. Now you're a publicly traded company where you can get money all around the world. Okay? There's levels to this thing. Understand, Malik? <laughs> if you don't understand, let me know so I can go back over it again, okay? Malik, I did not say you get 150 million or billion from the bank, which you can, you can, but you're going to have to really have some serious assets. But when you're not talking about a bunch of assets, then you go in and what you do, guess what? What you, what you get, if you don't have assets, then you can go with a private placement memorandum and all the things I just mentioned and go in and get money from people that's going to help you get to that level. All right, let's move on. All right, let's move on. So the United States of America is a corporation. The people are corporations. The cities are corporations. The states are corporations. All right, and, and, and a corporation is a person. So just like the United States of America say, hey, you bomb such and such place, you're going to, we're going to, we, you're going to get locked up, Mr. President. He said, I didn't do that. The United States of America did that. The corporation, I didn't do that. That's how that works. And they live on Capitol Hill. So you need to learn the same stuff that they're working with. It's a business. And why, if you think that what I'm telling you is not true, how you can get this money, why did Donald Trump just go last week, I think, and made his company Pub, made his company public. Very quiet for president. <laughs> no, no thanks. <laughs> okay, Donald Trump looked this up, just went in and made his company public, one of his companies, and he made $3 billion in three days. Now, what is it that you don't know? What is it that we don't know? What is it that we don't know? Look it up. I'm not telling you nothing you can't look up. I'm just, I'm just telling you stuff so that you can go look it up, right? Learning starts in the home, right? <laughs> right? After you leave here, then I want you to take this info and start looking it up so you can enhance it, okay? Now, you need to own your own corp. A corp is your straw man. Some people are trying to go sovereign and they're going to get their straw man and get their money off their social and uh, all of that stuff. They already thought about this. They just didn't teach you. The straw man is the corporation. All right. Control everything and own nothing. Next slide. Credit corporation funding. That's how you're going to do it. First thing we need to know is, uh, yeah, they said Trump. Uh, social was valid. Who knows what is social valid? I know he went in and he went public not too long ago and made $3 billion in three days. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, now, guess what? He just made $3 billion last week. He just made $3 billion last week. 
I don't I, I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I don't I, I don't get into the politics. I don't get into politics. I'm not, you know, uh uh uh, uh I, I'm into I'm into money. <laughs> I'm into finance, right? Not so much as even money. I'm into finance. Right? Okay, guess what? Step two, step number one, let's go in and talk about you need to be a PG. What's a PG? You need a personal guarantor. They're gonna say, Who is going to get you the money? You're gonna say, Who's going to borrow the money? You're going to say, corporation's going to borrow it. Not you, not me. The corp is. Because it's a person. I'm just its friend. I help it move. Right? They're going to say, okay, then who's going to make sure we get our money paid back? Because you're not giving us no documentation, and you're not giving us a you're stating your income. Write that down. No doc, stated income. Right? So now, you're going to say, no doc, stated income. They're going to say, well, guess what? You're not giving us no doc, so... Who's going to make sure we get our money back? You're going to say, I am, because I have great credit. And it's not hard to get your credit together. He wants to buy the vice president. I don't want to do politics, guys. <laughs> I hang around too much of him. I, no. Okay, so guess what? I have good credit. I'm going to be the good PG, right? <laughs> Somebody said, Hercules. All right, so now that's easy to do. Get your credit together, so you can be a good PG. PG this corporation, and the corporation goes in and gets the money. What I want you to know is, we don't get a business so we can do business. We don't work hard so we can make money. We use this thing to get money, and once we got the money, now we do business. So we get money to do business. We do not do business to get money. That's backwards. So I need everybody on here to take the red pill. All right. Forget about all that stuff you've been taught. Get a business. Work hard. Work up. Turn down to turn down for what? <laughs> turn down for what? <laughs> take the red pill. Erase all that stuff. You know, oh, oh I don't have to work for the money. I just red pill. Morpheus, I want to never connect her. Morpheus. <laughs> Me, I want to never connect. I didn't know. <laughs> right. I didn't know. Oh, well, you know now, right? All right. The Red Pill Society. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go in. We get money with this thing called the corporation. That's what they made this for. Do you know if you borrow $1,000 from the bank, the bank now has $10,000? Do you know that? So your reward of borrowing 1000 is to make them 10000 That's why they give the corp the money, because then the corp is making them a lot more money. But they got rules they have to follow in order to give it to you. All right. So we're going to be a good PG. Next thing is fix your, your credit. We're not talking about a credit score. We're talking about a FICO. There's a difference between a credit score and a FICO. A credit score is just a score. A FICO is all the things that encompasses what, they, that's their, what they're going to look at, not just your score. Okay? So they're going to look at what's a good FICO. A good FICO is whatever's on your ID. Make sure it's one name, one name on your ID. Got it? One name on your ID. Not John J. Harris. If your name is John Harris, don't have John J. Harris, Harris J. Those are aliases, and they will bring your points down, 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 and you're not getting any money. None. <laughs> All right? So we don't want a declination. We want to stay at the top. Now, we want to make sure that the uh, one name, one address. Don't go in there talking about I got, I got five addresses. One at what's on your driver's license is the address you should have on there. Get rid of all those other addresses. Got it? Because they look like you're unstable to the bank. And I know I used to teach these guys. That's my job. <laughs> all right. So we want to make sure that we have no less than, no more than three inquiries. No more than three inquiries. Anything over three inquiry, inquiries when you're trying to fund a corporation? No, no, no. They don't like that. 
All right. Next thing is to stop going on. We want to make sure that we have no no less than five trade lines. Five trade lines. So if you have uh, less than five, you can still get money, but we want maximum funding, the maximum amount of money, right? So these little things is what keeps you from getting this money. Now I went from the top up when I started out. I went from the top to show you the possibilities. Now we gotta learn how to go and get that thing together so we can reach the top. Got it? Okay, next thing is you wanna make sure that we have no less than a $10,000 trade line and no less than two years on on a trade line so if you got a card that has two years uh that's two years old with ten thousand dollars or more that's good if you got a card that's ten years old uh uh uh, uh, uh over two years old one card and ten thousand line on another card that's fine too because banks tend to lend based on what has been given you already so you somebody gave you three hundred dollars because you got a three hundred dollars secured card. Well, guess what? Who the hell gonna lend you a hundred thousand because you got a three hundred dollars secured card? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, <laughs> I'm just building my credit up. I got me a five hundred dollars secured card. Okay. Stop it. So we're talking about a FICO and stop putting on your credit report where you worked at because banks will look at the industry you're in and where you work and they will say, well, he ain't made, but he made this amount of money. So if you want more money, you can't get more than that because you have told them the industry you're in and how much you make. We're going to state an income, right? But, but we, do not, we do not want to tell them I worked at McDonald's or I worked at UPS or I they say, well, UPS worker maybe make two hundred thousand dollars. I don't know, hundred thousand. I don't know. But don't you want more than two hundred? So don't tell them where you work at. Get that off of there. Next thing is, stop putting on there your phone number. Why? Stop giving up more information than is needed because they can do a lot of things with a phone number. Got it? All right. So if you want to go in and get your stuff done, go in and and uh, get your credit done. There's ways of doing that. Uh, usually I talk about how to do that, but we're running out of time on this because I'm on a timer. So let's go to the next slide. Damn, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> uh, next slide, please. All right, so next thing is getting the money. We want to learn the seven. We want to first learn that a corporation is not to do business. You don't do business with a corporation. You go get money with a corporation. It's called a it's called a special purpose entity. Don't you tell me you can't learn this stuff. Make me say. <laughs> you can learn that. You can learn this. All right. All right. So <laughs> you can learn that. You can learn this. All right. So uh, <laughs> MTV videos. Exactly. All right. So guess what? This is a corporation. It is a special purpose vehicle that is to get money, to get money so that you can do business. When you get the money, then you put other people to work and you sit around growing your company while they work. That's called non-performance income, non-performance income. I want you to get that in your head. I don't work. I don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, you still work at uh, the shipyard, brother? I don't work anymore. It's just that simple. <laughs> no, 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 not like before. <laughs> Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> All right. Uh, so guess what? The corporation is to do business, right? No, the corporation is to get money. Then you do business. <laughs> Cal and Battle. <laughs> Cal and Battle Black. <laughs> That's a bad name. Let's see. Oh, you need to see cash too? You can do that. You can do that. Everybody on here can get that money. All right. So can someone up there please put up a, uh, a 800 number so anybody can go 
and uh, look into where they fit in so they can go and get some money. Or at least go in and check out and see how they can go get some money. Can you please put up that 1888 number, please? Everybody on here, there's a 1888 number. Can you please put that number up, please? Okay, so uh, the next thing is the corporation not to do business. Uh, I want to make sure that you understand how to structure your corporation the right way. So there's a seven structure. It's going to be C corporation, right? So first thing, let's go for this. Let's first understand the five corporations. The LLC. The LLC. You got your LLC? I've been at an LLC. How long you? How long you had an LLC? I've been at my LLC. I better get me an LLC. Let us know if you get an LLC today with just a few clicks of a number, right? And you will have your LLC ready to do business, but get no money. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the LLC. So we want to put that number up there. It's going to be 888-538-3707. 888-538-3707. Oh, what is that? 888-538. Whose number is that? Whose number is that? Millie, what is the number, please? Spammers. <laughs> That's not the right numbers, I don't think. Let me look at the right number here. Is anybody on here uh, 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 listening to this? Can somebody put the number up? What a crew. <laughs> yes. Bobby's phone number, 888-538-3705. 888-538-3705. Everybody on there could dial that number if you are interested in anything uh, on how to, and it's, and it's a free, they will look into your stuff for free. This is free. I'm trying to teach you how to do this stuff on your own, but you should at least know some of the things that you need, right? Okay, everybody put that number down. I don't know if anybody got it. 888-538-3705, all right? If you find this information useful, go and call that number and, and uh, they'll look at your stuff, look at your credit and say, hey, I think you should do this. You might need to do that. Then you, I'm telling you what to do, so now you can go out and go do it. All right, can't get better than that. So LLC, LLC is limited liability. So the bank does not like limited anything. That's like you talking to somebody at the gas station. Hey, you know, we're talking forever. You know, maybe we should um, exchange numbers. Okay, what's your number? And you say, well, I want to be honest. Well, okay, I'm limited. <laughs> He's going to look at you like, what you mean you limited? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you're limited? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, and then you're going to say, oh, and I also want to let you know I got liability. She's going to say, put your baby mama after you, what the police after you, what you mean you limited li and liability limited? <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, I got to pick up my baby from school. Well, wait a minute, baby, it's 1030 at night. He in night school. I got to go. <laughs> I thought you said he was three. <laughs> right? That's what the bank going to say to you. She's going to say, goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's what she's going to say to you. <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure that we say, uh, uh we're not limited limited liability corporations are for, for risky things like truck drivers and and uh doctors they could do something to you it's very risky and dangerous like uh construction those are limited liability corporations right okay so we want to make sure that you understand these things right so a limited liability is 
when you're doing something risky. So I want you to look at SIC codes, S-I-C codes, S-I-C codes, right? Uh, so the S-I-C code is, is what the bank looks like, looks at as to see what kind of industry you're in. Certain industry they don't lend to. So you don't walk in the bank with a daggone LLC, that's limited. They're like, oh yeah, well, okay, you'll see how much money you get. Number two, the bank don't like bad sick codes. So like if you if you say uh 1532, 1532 and 5321. 1532 could mean I'm a truck driver, and 5321 could mean I'm in the transportation industry. What I do in the industry I'm in. And if they notice that you have the wrong sick code, you ain't getting no money except some limited money because it's a limited liability. Or if you got whatever course, if you get the wrong sick code, you're not getting any money or you're getting very little. So I want you to go in and get to look up the sick code, right? And look up on, on Google what sick codes banks like and what sick codes banks do not like. And now you'll know what to pick as a business so you'll know there's rules to this. Got it? Now, that's an LLC. Or for like real estate, they use LLC to transfer real estate. Now, the S Corp, hey man, I hit the lottery, I made a lot of money, you know, I want to invest in your company. Come on, let's go. Well, no, I don't want to invest in your company, and I just want to invest. I, 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 I don't want to be all that, all that uh, capital gain tax and all that. But I got the perfect thing. I got, a, I got an S Corp. That's what this is for. So if you don't have investors, why do you have an S Corp? Next thing is C Corp. C Corp. Remember this thing? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Look at it shining. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Right. C Corp is the mama of course. Right? Remember this thing that I showed you in the C Corp? $125 for this book. You get a C Corp, get the book. Now you can go to the top. Remember these things in here to print money? C Corp. That's what banks like because it can go to the moon. That's why they like it, right? So C Corp is the mama, of course. It can go all the way up. Now, we have a nonprofit and a foundation. The difference between a nonprofit and a foundation is that the foundation can lend money like a bank. That's the difference, plain and simple. Such and such foundation was brought to you by the Ronald McDonald Foundation, right? Bill and whoever his wife name is, Foundation. The Bill Gates Foundation, you ever notice that? Why do all the rich people have foundations and all the poor people have nonprofits? Why, why is that? Because the foundation can, is like a bank that can lend money. Hear me now, hear me now. You want the red pill or the blue pill? I take the red pill, right? <laughs> I, I want to lend money. <laughs> like a bank. All right, so we need to understand these things. Nobody's going to teach you this stuff on the internet. Who's going to teach you on this for free? Nobody. I want everybody to put up there. Who's going to teach you this all, all for free? I want you to put it up there. Who? Who's going to teach you this all day and all night, all every day for free? Nobody. Put, I want you to put up there. Come on, everybody, audience participation. Let's get some fun in there. Put up there. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want you to know is banks don't lend money to rookies. They don't lend money to babies. So if you walk in the bank with a corporation that's less than Two and a half tax years old. I didn't say tax. I didn't say two years. I said two tax years. I know. I used to be a high end bank. I understand banking, right? I used to teach some of these guys. So guess what? You walk in with a corporation that's under two and a half years old. That's two tax years. January to April and January to April. That's two years, eight months. You might as well say three years. So if you walk in less than that, you're not getting any money. You're getting very little. Okay. So who wants to be limited, right? So now we want to make sure, so go in and get yourself a season age shelf course. They don't teach you this stuff. 
why would you wait around three years to go get you some money and start building your empire when you could go in and get a seasoned age shell corp that's old already? Or get a corp that's old. You know how many people sitting up there in 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 legal you know who I'm talking about, getting a corporation, LLC, <laughs> and brand new. And with the wrong name. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Well, you, you just don't want no money, do you? You just want to work. No time to waste. <laughs> no time because uh, time puts stuff on your waist, right? No time to waste. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so now check this out. You want to go in, you want to get a season eight shelf corporation if you don't want to wait. So they sell these things. You can go on to there's a company called um wholesale shelf courts they sell them courts like water like water you can't even keep them on the shelf because people know i want five of them i will get myself a, a four four eight eight sixteen seventy nine point five of them i'll get a pg for each court get five courts and i'm gonna walk out of here with two million dollars now you can't do nothing with two million dollars i think so so they sell these courts, but I went in there, I looked at one at one time for like five, five-year-old court, right? That court was 14 grand. Now, I don't think, I would never charge 14 grand. We sell them, I would sell one for 14,000, but I would pay 14 grand for a corporation. Why? I'm gonna get 14,000 dollars and he gonna give me back 50,000, 100, two, three, four, 500,000? You must be kidding. I will borrow fourteen thousand. Man, give me fourteen thousand, bro. Would you? I'll pay you back twenty when I get this thing funded. So I get twenty-two. I don't give a damn. If they give me the money, <laughs> I will borrow. <laughs> and so people know what these things are do. They're just not teaching you. They're not teaching me. They're not teaching us. All right. So um, they sell them. You can go out and do it. You can do this yourself. You don't need us, right? So now you go out and get a season age shelf court, but you want to make sure that you get a season and age is the same thing. It just means old. They put them like some lawyer, put it on the shelf, and they wait until it gets old. That's a good business too, by the way. They wait until it gets old, and then they sell it to you because people know how valuable it is, right? So now it's like wine. They put it on the shelf and age it, so they sell it to you. Now, I want to make sure you understand if you get a season age shelf court, it's a shelf court where nobody has ever had an EIN number because it could have bad credit if somebody already got an EIN number. So don't get one with an EIN number unless you really, really, really trust these people. You have to really trust somebody because if they got an EIN number, they could have got bad credit and now sell you a season eight shelf court, thinking you're going to get some money, and now you're like, oh, this got bad credit. <laughs> you're going to be upset, right? So season eight shelf corporation unpublished now nobody's mentioned unpublished right the real smart people but they don't say unpublished you have to be a banker so you know that the bank can go in and look and see if that court was ever sold online 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 yeah so guess what the bank goes in you say i got this court five years they say why was it being sold online last month well, I didn't buy that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nothing. You ain't getting no money, and you might get red flag. No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> so you want to make sure that when you buy a corporation, you don't have them pick it out online, because the bank can see that. You want to go in and have them send it to your email, send a couple of a list to your email. You pick out what you want, and then they send your corp to your email. Got it. Right. Now never go over eight, never go over eight or nine years because now the corp is over eight, it's over three years old. Give me some criteria. But guess what? They're saying you're an old man. That's like 78 years old when you do that. A corp is like dog age. So they're like, you old, you ain't got no doc. You ain't got no 45 or 16 taxes. You don't have no uh, 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 financials. You ain't got no cars, no nothing. Man, you are a, a horrible business. We ain't letting you no money. So be careful. Understand what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. Understand what you're doing. All right? We're here to teach you what nobody else is teaching you. They may teach you a little of this. They may teach you a little bit of that. 
They may teach you a little bit of it, but they're not going to teach you the whole thing. That's why we call ourselves 360 CEO. Because the whole thing. I'm a whole complete CEO, not just by name. That's what I want you to say. I want you to go out there and say, look, I'm not just a name on a card. You got to have me a name on the corporation as a CEO, president, and the same thing as president and CEO, by the way. So if you want to walk out and say, I'm a CEO, and then somebody asks you a question, well, what's about this CEO? You don't know it. You're like, well, you ain't no CEO. You just, you just got a corporation. That's all. You're just trying to do business. You're a wannabe. So we need to make sure that we understand. And that's why I'm going to give it to you raw. <laughs> and then no sweat off my back to give this to you. Because in the morning time, when it comes to morning time, time to take somebody public. Time for some private equity. <laughs> uh, Three million, three point five million dollars. I'm trying. I'm doing that superpreneur thing. So this, if you guys are doing some of the things I'm saying, don't be shy. Say it because you're no threat to me. You're no threat to me. I'm not no internet guy. I've been doing it 30 years. I'm out there trying to do my macro. We got a micro and we got a macro. Your micro is 1.5 million dollars. Don't fall for the hype where you get that. $100,000. It's $1.5 million. But guess what? What's your billion dollar idea? This ain't, this ain't school time. This ain't 1960, a million dollars. It's a billion dollar world. So what's your billion dollar idea? That's why I'm trying to show you it's not impossible. It is there. Anything they can do, you can do. You just have to get the knowledge, right? All right. Next slide. So get yourself the CZ Shelf Corp. Structure your corporation the right way. Then go in once you do that. Then go in and get your money. Then the world is not flat. At $100,000, it's round. So you keep going around and around and around getting more money. And now you go to private equity. And I showed you that. And now you go in and take your company public. Boom. All right. So get in the money. Step three, you're just shelf corp to, get, to learn and get $100,000, $300,000, dollars $400,000, $500,000. Next thing is you can go in. And you, know, you need to understand that there's five bureaus, not three like personal. We're talking a corporation. Five bureaus. There is Equifax, Experian Business, Small Business Financial. But before we go into that, before we go in, I need some audience participation, all right? I, I, it, how many people out there feel like this is, this is worth, this is some good knowledge? How many people out there think this is some good information to help you and your family? Put up a nine. If you think this is good information, I say, look it. I'm out of here. I shut it down. I go about my business, right? <laughs> you put up a nine if you think this is this is good information for you and it's helpful for something that you can use that I'm trying to give you for free. Put up a nine. Put up a nine times twelve. <laughs> Wow, times 13. Oh, there go. You, they're going to beat each other. <laughs> I love you, too. Thank you. I love you. I do love you. Let's see. Uh, nine, 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 nine. Wow. Kaylee's iPhone, nine, nine, nine. Greg, nine, nine, nine. Thank you. Fire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you think this is decent information, right, that you can help you with your family, put up a nine. I want to see if you think this is good info. Not I can just, well, all right. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> all right. Go in there. There was a girl at the seminar. She said, go in there, listen to what he got to say, then go in and get your bread, and then get up out of there. And she got up out of there. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> she was a bad thing. I think I have on my, uh, I had to put her on the internet, right? 999. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we are epic. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is Derek Whitehead, 360 CEOs. We are not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys. We are consultants, and we are here to give you this information as consult consultants. If you need anybody in those areas, including uh, uh, funding, uh, we're not funders, we're consultants, and we give you this information because we believe everyone out there is a friend, and thank you for all the love and all the nines, and, and uh, we do believe you're a friend, so we're going to continue to give you this information freely, okay, freely. And so this is, again, from our perspective, us and all our affiliates, this is 
That's right. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to teach your children, right? So this is from our perspective. If you do not teach your children, you will. You look, you're wasting your time and my time. Don't complain when they get older and say, I don't want you to go through what I went through. No, teach your children. You sometimes let them get off that internet for a minute and come in here and look at this. They need to be going to school talking about a private placement memorandum. They teach us like, what's that? <laughs> oh, you don't know what that is? <laughs> all right. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the nine. Okay. You need to learn first. They can learn while you're, while you're learning too. And you can ask them questions while you're learning. Did you hear that? <laughs> all right. All right, so let's go through this real quick. Let's go through the five bureaus. You need to know this. You're a CEO, right? So Equifax, Experian, Business Reporting, Small Business Financial Exchange, Dunn and Bradstreet, not Dunn, Dunn and Bradstreet, and PayNet, and PayNet, P-A-Y-N-E-T. Those are the five business bureaus, the main ones. There's a lot of them, but those are the five main ones. If you're going to go get a car or a, or a phone or computer or, or uh, trucks or heavy equipment or anything you know, like the furniture for your business, they're going to check pay net. Some people don't want money. They're looking for, for a truck or a car for their business. You got to know where to go to get what your business needs. Everybody's on the line. Get $150,000. They're not explaining to you. Well, maybe I don't want 150. dollars Maybe I want a truck. Maybe I want to do Toro. Well, you need to be to build up your pay net. Okay, that's right. This is economicmasonry.com. That means masonry means builder, the economic builder. This is not masonry with a G. This is masonry with an E. That's an E in the middle. So you guys that, you know, tie your camel and you guys that understand what I'm talking about, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you guys that are traveling men, you know, you've been to the East. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You need to be understand that to look at things true and correct. That foundation has to be true and correct. Look at it and see what it really is. It is an E. All right. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure you understand pay net is for equipment. They call it equipment loan. Done in Brad Street, not done, done in Brad Street. Brad Pitt, Brad, Brad Street. That is going to be your merchant account, your 30-day net. So people say, go on and get your 30-day net by going to get Quill and Euroline and uh, Interstate Battery and get a bunch of those. And now you got your 80 pay deck. Stop it. Who the hell, pardon me, who the heck is going to give you one, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars because you got a fifty dollar quill. Nobody take the blue pill and throw it away, take the red pill, all right? Nobody's gonna give you that all this stuff on the internet. Go get your quill, go get your Euroline. Who the hell gonna get you a hundred fifty thousand, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars because you got a fifty dollar uh, a Euroline or interstate battery? <laughs> Nobody. Staple. <laughs> Staple. You're unstable. You're unstable. Staple list, right? <laughs> All right. Nobody. So go in and fund yourself first as you as a PG. Then when you get those large lines, then you go in and build that, build your 80 pay deck, and they will give you big lines now because you already have those lines that are big because you PG'd it first. Who gonna teach you this on the internet for free? Nobody. All right, so we got PayNet. Maybe you wanna go get yourself those store cards like Home Depot, you're a builder or whatever. You're going to get Dun and Bradstreet, you're gonna go get your Dun and Bradstreet built up. But first you're gonna build up your, your as a PG, then you're gonna get those. Build those organically. Next is gonna be Small Business Financial Exchange. That's banks talking to banks. UCC1, UCC3. What is UCC1 and what is UCC3? UCC1, when you go in and you say, uh, 
They owe us money. And we're in first position. Anybody after us ain't getting no money unless it's something left over. That's UCC1. They will file that in the city that you live in, the county assessor's office, for all the world to see. Right? Guess what? UCC3 means they're going to file it and say he's paid it off. That's UCC3. Got it? And that's going to be small business financial exchange when you get like an installment loan. Where you pay the loan, a hundred thousand, and pay it down like a house, a car, or a installment loan, and you're done. You uh, 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 small business finance exchange. That's who they're going to be looking at, right? Now, a revolving. That's the best. Revolving credit card, revolving line of credit. Pay it down and use it again. Pay it, use it again. That's going to be Experian or Equifax. And sometimes they'll switch over to small business finance exchange. Got it? Now we are capitalists. Businessmen, businesswomen, next slide. And we are true entrepreneurs. All right, my dad going throw it. I need to get some water. I'm going to go in. Some people say, uh, Mr. Whitehead, can you help me with the No matter, I'm telling you everything you need. Research it, go do it yourself. You don't need us. Okay? But they always ask me, Mr. Whitehead, can you help me with something? I said, but I tell you, we got questions and answers after this. I'm going to answer your question, so you don't need me. But they still said, well, Mr. White, here, can you help me? With so uh, my buddy, uh, 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 Millen, he's out in, uh, I don't know, he might be in Spain right now. He's, <laughs> he's, uh, uh, he's in Europe right now, and he's on here. He will explain some things that, that, that we do for about five, seven minutes. Let him explain that. I'll come back for questions and answers. And uh, believe me, he does not need the money. All right, we are doing this to help. Okay, so if you leave, remember the question and answers, that's where the real knowledge comes from because people ask questions. We got question and answers coming up, so hang in there. This guy, he hates me saying this, but he's after every time, he's Derek, why did you have to say that? Pardon his accent, he had a heavy accent, but he speaks like four or five languages fluently. This dude worth probably about 500 million trust fund babies. <laughs> All right, I like to hang around people with money. <laughs> okay, so uh, listen to what he has to say, and I will be back. Get me some water, take a break, and I'll be back for questions and answers. And uh, that's where the real stuff is found out. So listen to what he has to say, maybe five, seven minutes, I don't know. And I'll be right back to answer your question so you can say, that's exactly what I needed to know. Bye, Mr. Derrick. I'm like, bye. Teach your children. <laughs> All right, talk to you when I get back.
right, okay. All right, thank you everybody for being here. We had uh, three phone calls going on here at the, at the same time, and let's go to question and answers. Question and answers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to female to male. I want you to have, uh, be patient with people, because a lot of times uh, uh, somebody's speaking and they'll say, well, um, uh, will you hurry up or something? So let's not be rude. Let's go in. <laughs> let's go into question and answers. Let's go to female to male because a lot of times that is not a, the men take over. So what I want you to do is I want you to tell me the question, where you're from, and let's uh, and uh, let's go to the next person. Don't give me the background. Just give me the question. Okay. So let's go over to. Uh, is there a lady, Robin Nicole? What's your question? personal, but I don't believe I mentioned Tiffany, because I don't, no, I didn't mention Tiffany, I don't know Tiffany, what's about Tiffany? No. Oh, that was, no. No, I said, uh, I, I said, you can go to do a pledge loan with Navy Federal, right? And maybe maybe get an authorized visa. After you get an authorized visa, when that hits, then you can go and get yourself a care credit because now you'll have decent credit. But I don't know anything about Tiffany's. I don't know anything about Tiffany's. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be personal. That's personal. You got your, huh? You got your who? You got all your, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we had a good time. Oh, boy. <laughs> we had a good time in Philly. We had a good time. Yeah, yeah, I like Philly. Philly is all I love. Philly, very. Oh, can you believe that? But we still, we still made it. We still had lines around the corner. That was great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sister. Let's talk to you. You're welcome. All right, brother Ken, what's your what's your question? Just give me the question. Just uh, no background. Just give me the question. All right. Let's go to Malik Shabazz. No Ken. Let's go to Malik Shabazz. What's your question? What's the question? Don't give me the background. All right, let's go to Z Ameri Yukon News. Hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta go down the line here. Uh Z um, uh, There you go. Good, good, brother. How are you? Uh, no, I would make sure that the uh, it's in good standing, though. 
Yep. Yeah, I would make sure it's in good standing. But that wouldn't be a good sale if, you, if it's not in good standing. Okay. No, private place sitting in Miranda is when you are uh, going to go and get some private equity money and go get some of that bigger money. You're talking about selling it. That's different. You just selling a corpse. Just like you're selling a car, you're selling a house. You know, but you can't sell a car with with uh with a with a bad title. The title has to be clean, so the corporation has to be clean. So it has to be good standing. All the fees and stuff have to be paid up. Unless that person you're selling it to already knows that and you disclose that. Got it? Yeah. You got it. You got it. All right, Willie Phelps, what's your question? Just give me the question, don't give me the background. Well, you have to go to the funding team and so they can look at your stuff. Nobody can really look to tell unless they're looking at your credit, looking at your FICO, looking at uh, your corporation. You got to look at all this stuff so that you can uh, figure out what bank you're going to go to and, and, and what banks you're going to go to and how they're going to stack it up. It's kind of like a puzzle that you put together, like those funders put the puzzle together and say, okay. And the puzzle, when they put it together, it'll say point this way or point that way, point this way or that way. And that's the way they go. If the puzzle gets put together and the puzzle says point this way and they go over there. And they go check some uh, a bank over there or, or um, whatever is necessary, you know? Uh, well, you could. If things are if things are nice, you could probably go in on your on your first run, maybe 100, 150. Uh, it depends. I've seen people. We just had three people uh, get 150 this week. You know, um, I believe they're on the internet, and and, um, and so that's just going to be first round. There's, there's, there's people. There was people on that yacht that we went out to out in. Uh, out in uh florida last month and i and i recorded them they were 450 right so i mean it's just uh but you just keep it's not like you get the money and then that's it you keep going you know what i'm saying you keep building no no you, you get the money and then you go to the next round <laughs> Just keep keep funding. But if you do take the money out and then and then it show and it reports that you took the money out, uh then they're gonna see that hey, this this guy's maxed out and he's going to get a lot of credit at one time, they're gonna kind of shut that down. But if you go in and get, you know, you know, like like a lot of not a lot, but you know what I'm saying, get your credit. In your, uh, you can hit three banks, you can hit five banks, you can hit, you can hit uh, all different kind of ways, and and just you know until they hit. Once they hit, uh, now you could get you could get a hundred fifty thousand, a hundred thousand from one bank, but that's only one inquiry, and then you could go and get another hundred. Or 50, who knows how they, what they're going to get, but you can get another 25, 50, who knows, from another bank the next day 
then you go get another. I mean, you'll keep going because you're going to try to shoot that inquiry out of the air because that's not the corporation. That's not your inquiry. That's the corporation's inquiry. That ain't mine, but get that one out of there. See what I'm saying? The object is to keep funding and keep asking for an increase. You know, there's all kinds of things you can ask for an increase, and they'd be like, give me an increase, you know, and they'd be like, okay, there you go. You don't ask, you don't get. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, the first line of credit is going to be secured. Because you're going to PG it. You, you start getting unsecured credit, you know, the first round of uh, uh, money is in tranches. So you, you got... You hit as much as you can until you hit your first tranche where things are starting to show up on your business credit. And that's going to take a month to a month and a half. So you're going to be funding as much as you can, but, but, but from one bank that can give you many different products. Because if you go to too many different banks getting single products, they're going to say, why is this person getting so much credit so fast? And then they're going to shut you down. This is just strategic. Make sense? All right. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome, Willie. Really. Oh, let's see. Uh, Swafi. What's going on, brother? What? Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that laughs> You've been waiting for that check for a minute, brother. Yeah, I heard that, man. That's nice. Good news. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. Uh, I don't know. They give you some kind of deal, I'm sure. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just relax, man. You know, get yourself yourself healthy first. Uh, Gabriel, you don't need gay. Uh, you're not going through the bank to get funding, are you? I mean, you already got, you already fund, you already got the check. You got the check, okay? All right, yeah. So hit hit Gabriel up and ask them, you know, uh, the day what what what's going on. But you put the check in the bank, right? Oh, but what I told you See? 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 That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, brother. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. All right, brother. Okay, next question. Israel Pierre. 
Just give me the question. One question, please. One question. We got people pulling their hands up like crazy now. Yeah. I would go to straight to C Corp. Well, I don't get another LLC. I ain't doing nothing for you. It's limited, but you already you could got money off the LLC that you had, but you would be, you would stop after a certain amount. For the C Corp, you keep going right to the moon. But right now, you may have you have may have lakes on that LLC. So uh, that's a double problem. So get rid of that problem. Get a C Corp. Yeah, you can clean LLC credit. <laughs> you clean So, so if you have the funds, I would just go get myself a C corp and not go through all that hassle. If you don't have the funds. Then you can, uh, you know, attempt to clean that 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 C corp's credit. But first of all, um, the LLC is not going to take you very far. It's limited liability. Listen to the words. You know. No, I didn't you need five trade lines, but I didn't say no bank is not going to lend you money if another bank has it. I said banks tend to match what another bank has already given you. So if you have $10,000, they will generally match what another bank has already given you because they don't want to be the guinea pig. I'm not saying that banks won't give you money because another bank didn't. If that was the case, nobody would ever get you money because no bank would ever start out giving you anything, right? But um but yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So you could go in and do a pledge loan, but if you got I didn't say five lines, I didn't say six lines, I said five lines. At least five. But I mean two lines is is, is what we're going for. So I mean but at least five Yeah, I mean, you got you got five lines. You you you're pretty much in the house. You can go in the bank and start making your moves. But you got twenty five. You can go in and just go buck wild. So always continue. Yeah, and I wouldn't get the secured card, especially if the bank can see that. That's that's secured. That makes you look small. That means you can't. You're not big enough to get an unsecured card. Then that means you you you're not big enough to get any real money. <laughs> so go to the bank and get a loan. It's not going to say secured or none of that. It's going to say we gave him a loan, even though it's your own money. They're not going to say that. Oh, that okay, brother. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. Is there another lady? Another female. Another lady. 
All right, how about Bobby? Just give me one question, please. We got a lot of people raising their hands up. A holding company doesn't matter. It's just holding assets. So, so it's not. Uh, it's a holding company. The company that made the money is the one that's going to be the doing getting taxed. The holding company didn't make the money. They're just holding the asset. C-Corp's doing the business. L all LLC is, is a part of the C-Corp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brother. Good luck to you. You're welcome. Is there a lady? No lady. And I don't know why I can't see all the rest of the people. Uh, Mr. Harding, just give me one question, please, and see if we can do it in a minute. I'm not going to be able to answer everybody else's question. There's a lot of people putting their hands up. Go ahead. What's the, what's the question? We don't want to pass you by. Yes, sir. Who is that? Okay. Uh, what's your question, brother? Robert, Robert's next. What's your question? Yes, yeah, just give me a question. One question, please. Sure. Yep, yep, sure can. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Jerry Mendoza, what's your question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's very easy. Just go down and, 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 uh, and uh, say to, to the county assessor's office, and say, I would like to put my house in this corporation. You're going to put the deed in there, but you're going to still owe, owe the money. The note is different than the deed. The house is going to go in the corporation. Just go to the tax assessor's office and say, how do I put this in my house in my corporation? Simple. It don't need it matter if it has a mortgage or not. You're transferring the deed to the court, not the loan. Got it? I 
I don't know. Okay. Uh, maybe that was Posh. Call her back and ask her, are you Posh? She said, I'll talk to you. Did I, uh, what, did I promise you that I was going to call you and then I called you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, uh. If I said I was going to call you, I'll call you. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I can't remember. I think I, I called up 10 people, but I'll tell you what. Let's see. All right. Uh, let me see. What's your number? What's up? Yeah, I believe that was me. <laughs> but I will call you tomorrow uh, 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 just so you can make sure. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, brother. Thank you. There's a lot of salmon going on. We have had 150, 150 people taking my information as free off the computer and putting it on their own site and acting like they're me and telling people I'm with Bitcoin and uh, and uh, insurance and, and all kinds of stuff. I We don't do that, right? So if they're asking for money online, they will say Derek dot Whitehead or Derek Whitehead dot or Derek Whitehead apostrophe. Just change it slightly, right? But uh, if, if, if uh, we would not ask you for any money online, we will not do that. Okay, and I don't, I don't have anything of problem with Bitcoin either. That, but I don't talk about Bitcoin and I don't talk about insurance unless it's insurance briefly about backing the money that you're getting, because insurance backs money, but. Uh, we're not going to ask you for anything online, so don't fall for these scammers. If you see people that are scamming, report them. I'm trying to help people, and they're out here scamming. I, I don't understand the mentality. You know. So I'll call you tomorrow. Yes, sir. How do you ask who? Who put what? You call the Secretary of State and say, I would like to put this as a DBA. And they walk you through it. Call the Secretary of State in whatever state you're in, whatever state your corporation is in, your C Corp or whatever. It is. Got it? All right, let's have a lady, Bella. Oh, it's, okay. What's your question? Yes. That's right.
Yep. I think you should. I do think you should uh, fix the roof. <laughs> fix the fix the roof so you can insure and sell the property. That's why you bought it so you can sell it and flip it. So you fix the roof. You can't. You just can't keep going. Keep going and setting the property. You sit there and not for money off of it. But you fix the roof. If after you fix the roof, there's some good money in it. If you ain't no good money on it, then you sell that property as is and get up out of it. But you also gonna need a C Corp so you can start doing things right and keep moving up and up and up. You don't have the best credit, you gotta fix your credit and get the C Corp at the same time so you can, so you don't have to waste time. If you just start fixing your credit and then after you do that, then you start fixing the corp, you're gonna take a lot more time. If you do them both, then you cross the finish line together. Because you gotta build the corp and you gotta fix the credit. You might as well do them at the same time if you have that capability. Well, well, I don't know what what you because I don't have your stuff in front of me. That's why I put that number up there. Remember that eight 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 number, so that you can go get assessed because it may not be. There's other things going on that you may not even know about that you can get funding with or whatever. These people understand better than me or you. Okay. Well, I don't know about better than me, but <laughs> but I, my point is, <laughs> but my point is, I, I thought my point is is um, you never know the things that are available to you unless you you know. Ask them. You don't know what is available to you in a bank unless you ask the bank. What do you guys have available? Then they'll tell you. They're not just going to come out and start telling you everything they have in the bank. You say, can you tell me, you know, what your programs, what your products are? That's why you got to call that number and get assessed. So they may come up with something. I didn't know that. That's why they're there. So you can figure it out. Uh, calling no nah, it has nothing to do with that nothing to do with private and public no i'm talking about the corporation uh people go and they try to get be sovereign so they can get money off their social that the government is using and and, and there's treaties going on they understand the stuff uh that has been broken they understand that that's private and public. I'm talking about a corporation where the people that invented that stuff 
they made the corporation their straw man. So, so I'm talking about I'm talking about the straw man for the corporation. The corporation is a person. That's their scapegoat. So the United States got you as your straw man, as their straw man. You got the court as your straw man. They use you, you use an it. You take yourself out of the equation by borrowing with it. Like they're taking themselves out of the equation by borrowing through you. Got it? You're welcome, brother. All right, Sister Carolyn Battle Black. What's your question? Good evening. God got me up. So I'm all right. Yep. Uh, the home is owned by the corporation. It was owned by you, but you gave it to corp as a person. So you transferred it to the C Corp. But that's different from the note. Your note, you still owe the bank. The bank gave you money to buy a home, but if you don't pay them, they take that house as collateral. I don't care whose name it's in. But if you have equity in your home, you, you put that inside the corporation, they will lend you more money because you have an asset in the court. The court gets money better than people. A lot of times. That's right. It just makes the C-Corp bigger and stronger, has more borrowing power. Those are called assets, unless we just have no equity in them, but those are assets. A lot of people go out and they, they, they borrow money off their house. Why would you do that when you could put the, corp the house in the corporation and just borrow, not against the house, but borrow on the corporation, and the bank will say, you have an asset, but you're not borrowing against that house. You're just borrowing against the court. Your house ain't touched. It's knowledge. Okay, I have somebody calling you. What's your number? Okay, let's see. see. Okay. You're welcome. Three oh one six six one oh nine six five. You got it. You're welcome. All right. Uh, did we talk to Sean? Did we talked to Sean already? Yes, sir.
or uh, whatever you want the corporation to do, you write it down, and those and those your corporate guidelines. Whatever, whatever, everybody agrees that this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down and relax and watch TV. That's your, that's your duty. Then that's you. They sign off on it. You, you notarize it, and that's your corporate guidelines. Then you're going to write that down. Whatever you want, people at the corporate is there. To, the, the people, the officers are there to help the corporation. It can't see, touch, smell, hear, or feel. So they, they, so the, the president of the corporation decides this is how I'm going to run this company, and I want you to do this, and I want you to do that, and I want you to do that. And do you agree to do that? Have a meeting. Everybody says I, yes. And then you go in there, and that's what they do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome. How about Bobby? We talked to Bobby. Well, Bobby don't have his hand up. Okay, we got four, three questions. Belvin, what's your question? Good evening. No, it's important for the person to that signing for the that's the PG to have good credit. But as a side note, everybody should have good credit so they can start getting money in the court. You should everybody should have good credit, but it's not necessary. But you want to keep getting money, right? So you, everybody, if they don't have good credit, they should start working on it because everybody can go. They get in there can go get them a C court and fund it and put more money to the court. The whole idea is to get money to do business, not do business to get money. Get the money, then you can pick out what you want to do. You got the money. But put enough money aside to, to take care of that loan. You're welcome. All right. Uh, who is next? Civil rights. What's your question? Okay. Darren Webster. Uh, uh, you say, let me read something here. Somebody asked me a question here. Okay, so you said you want to be a VC. Okay, so venture capitalist. So uh, as a VC, you usually have to deal with somebody else's money, right? Or unless you you have your own money that you're going to deal with, so you usually want to deal with some kind of uh, fund that you're going to manage their money and say, I'm going to go in and uh, look for people who are doing loans. Or, I mean, who are looking for money, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to give you back 85% return. I can lose 15%. But I'm gonna give you back 85% return on your money, and I'm gonna manage it for you. So usually you want to be some deal with some kind of hedge fund or 
some kind of fund that's going to allow you to manage their money. So you look. Okay, then you need to go in and uh and uh talk to an SEC attorney. All right. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Uh, limitless. What's your question? All right, Adam. What is your question? Last question, Adam. So what so so what is the what's your question? Put put it in a question. So what are you trying to do? Trying to get money? Trying to get money? Okay, what are you what are you trying to do? You got don't give me the background just so, and what you aspire. Give me a question based on what you're trying to do. Are you trying to get money? Right? If you're trying to get money, then say then this like I want to fund my business, my corporation, or I want trade lines, or uh, what is the question? How do you build the business credit? How do you build business credit is your question? And your question. I, I don't know. You're trying to build business credit. You're talking, of, you're talking about expenses, and then you then you say you need to get a car, and then I'm hearing a lot of things, but. I don't, uh, are you trying to get a car through your business? What are you trying to do? Okay. 
basically, basically, you need to have some money to do business, right? We 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 can't. We're not talking about expenses. If you have to live, you got to figure out how you're gonna make money to live. But I'm talking about getting money to do business. You have to have credit, corporation. Just you don't have to. I'm just saying these are what I, in my opinion, you have to have credit, a corporation, and put those two together and go get some money from the bank, get some money and then do business. That's it. So if you don't have good credit, you have to have you have to get some good credit. If you don't have a business. You have to get a business so that you can get some money. Okay, okay. Now, you're, now, you're, you're talking about, now you're talking about taxes. You're talking about a lot of different things. You're talking about taxes and expenses. All I can say to you is that to make your life easier, you need, to, you need to fix your credit. And then once you fix your credit, number one, you have to have your credit together. And then you can get some money a little bit of money off your personal and then go get your corporation. You have to fix your credit. You said your credit's not good, you have to fix it. Definitely, you're not gonna, that, if this is the foundation of everything. First, you have to fix your credit. After you fix your credit, now you have a good FICO. That's what they call it, a good FICO. Not a credit score, but, you know, a FICO is your name correctly on your driver's license should match on your report, report your, your address, no more than three inquiries, you know, uh, no less than five trade lines means somebody gave you credit. These things that I mentioned earlier is getting your credit together. No late, no derogatory. There are people that do that. You can call that number and they can help you with that. Now, once you get your credit together, then if you don't have the money to get your corporation and get your credit together at the same time, then first get your credit together and get a little bit of money off your personal and so you can go get your corporation right and then put them together go get you some money then know what you want to do with the money and take that money and take out enough to pay for that loan put it aside if you don't take out money to put it aside you're going to get in trouble enough to put aside for one year 100,000, put 10, 12,000 aside to pay for the loan, and now use, now use the, the uh, 80,000, uh, use the, the 90 or the 88,000 to do business. You can get a C Corp now. now because you have to build it. You have to have a website. You have to have no bank going to lend you any good money without a website. You have a website. You have an age website, an age domain. If you have an age corporation, you have to have an address. You have to build it.
Well then go in, you got you got some good stuff. Just go in and, and uh maybe your credit is good enough to get you some a little bit of money so that you can live off while they fix your credit. Call the company, call the people in the number so they can help you out. You have to call. You have to call. You have to. It's how much? <laughs> then you need to call that number. You need to call that number because I can't see your credit report. I can't see anything. They're going to look at it for free. Look at it for free. Look at it. Call the number. Look, 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 look. If you don't get the credit, if you listen, Adam, if you don't get the credit together, if you don't get that credit together, you're not going to do, do good business. That's it. You can talk, we can talk all night, but it's going to still come right back to that. Well, Uh, between between you know average numbers you know I say between uh, ten o'clock and and uh, five o'clock Eastern time. Well, I hope I, I hope I can help. I hope I've helped you. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome. All right, so that's the last question for tonight. And uh, let's wish Adam, let's wish Adam some good luck. You know, because he said that uh, he's looking to survive. And I hope you get better and get well, Adam. Yes, sir, Mr. Hardy. There's no high position. Everybody works for the corporation. <laughs> Everybody's the same. People get strung out on, on titles. I'm the president. Well, the president is 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 a person that says, well, uh, I want to lead this company in the right direction. I would say the president is the highest, but but guess what? Is the pre you got the president of the United States. But is he more important than the Secretary of State, the Secretary of War, the Secretary of uh, Commerce? They're all together to make this one thing work. The CEO and the president is the same thing. President and CEO of the United States of America. 
chief executive officer. Same thing. And then the vice president just comes in and, and takes over when the president is not there. And then the secretary knows where all the bodies are buried. So don't sleep on the secretary. <laughs> don't piss off the secretary. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, what about the... <laughs> wait a minute. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you don't know. Right? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, she yeah. She or he, right? <laughs> they know they they they're keeping all the records, right? <laughs> right? So, you know, it's all uh it, it, it's it's all uh Yeah, I mean if you say if you say uh I'm the president, but you're the person who's going to be in charge of the money, and you're going to be a COO. And you're going to be in, oh, um, uh, uh, you're going to be uh, a CFO, Chief Financial Officer, and I'm the president, but you, you Chief Financial Officer, you in charge of the money. Who's more important? You can play president all you want, but I'm in charge of the money. <laughs> Right? Is there is there anybody more important than the than the CPA, the tax man? That's it. <laughs> oh, you the president? Oh, you the president? I'm the tax man. <laughs> I'm the one keep your behind out of trouble. Who's more important? Everybody plays a role. Is my is my thumb more important than my than my pointer finger? Which one you want to lose? Neither one. <laughs> I don't lose none of them. They all. I need these, right? <laughs> so that's you know that's the best way I can explain that. That's right. Thank you, brother. I love you too. Uh, Sean, that's what's your question. This will be the last question. Which which one? Uh, uh, to check your FICO, you talk about personal? Uh, they send you out of one free one every year. You gotta ask them. <laughs> you say, hey, uh, 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 "Can I have my free report, please?" My aunt, my aunt, call up the uh, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, and say, "I would like my free annual report." My annual report dot com. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for that, brother. All right. That's the last question. All right. Thank you so much. It's Derek White, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. We're not uh, tax people. If you're looking for anybody in those areas, please consult those people. We are capitalists. No, no. <laughs> no, we are consultants. If you need anybody in those areas to consult those people, we can give you this information for free. If we believe everybody on here is a friend, and I believe everybody on here is a friend. Uh, thank you for all the love. Again, I want to say if you don't teach your children, uh, you're wasting your time, you're wasting my time. Like, really. Because uh, that's your seed. Okay, so um, you duplicated yourself. Right? So they, you are God in the human experience, and they are little God. <laughs> the little run around, little gods, right? So uh, teach your children, it don't matter how young or small they are, stuff all that gaga, goo goo, and all that, start saying, uh, uh, 
private placement memorandum, uh, you know, corporation, credit, right? <laughs> they will remember it, right? So it's imperative that we teach our children. We can we cannot give them uh, a, a, a Juneteenth, you know, because when you come back from Juneteenth celebrating, you have the same situation when you left, probably less money, right? <laughs> so we want to make sure that we uh, can't, we don't try to leave our kids, you know, a job, you know, but we want to leave them a career, you know, not even a career. We want to leave them an empathy, right? We want to say, hey, look, I'm tired of you sitting on that couch. You better get your behind up and go get you a job. No, I want you to go get your behind up and go get a corporation. That's what we need to be telling our children, right? Not I need to go out and go get a job, right? And they say, I, I had a corporation. I funded one last month, Dad. We'll go get another one. You may not go like, sitting on that couch. You're going to fund another one, right? <laughs> That's what we need to do. So as usual, I want to say I'm not Malcolm X. I can't be smart with the king. I can't be any of those people, but I see Derek Whitehead. I'm not in any of the politics. Uh, I'm talking about the politics of going to the bank with your best friend, go get some of that money, right? And then take it to the next level and keep researching so that you can be the person in that picture over the fireplace where they say, who's that? And they're going to say, that's Grandma Johnson. She made all of this. Oh, that's, that's Grandma Johnson, Grandpa Johnson, right? That's what we want, right? So let's change the trajectory, go in and take, her, take control of our lives, go in and go get some of that money. So. As usual, I'm going to say, I'm going to count to three. I'm going to say, who's going to teach you all this all night long till 9 o'clock, right, or 12 o'clock East Coast for free, right? And then I'm going to say, one, two, three, ready? Everybody at the same time, you're going to say, nobody, right? So ready. Who's going to teach you this all on the Internet for free? Now, ready? One, two, three, everybody together. Ready? Nobody, ready? Body. Double up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys on uh, Tuesday. And thank you for being here. See you soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Why is the <it for> president? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs>